and hello and welcome to the recapping where we have got uh, Inchon and Garfnix with us. Hello, everyone. Hello. Oh, what a weekend we have had again. Another epic weekend. Um, firstly, thank you very much, Garfnix, and hello to the fantastic Inchon. How are you? Uh oh. Are, you, are we muted? Oh, you muted. Oh, it would even be better if there I remembered to unmute the mic. It's like that traditional, <laughs> I still haven't gotten out of the COVID teleworker thing, but no, my apologies. Uh, I'm doing great. How are you gentlemen doing today? Oh, I'm Fantastic. Yeah, it's a pleasure to have you, man. Like literally a hell at loose legend. Uh, no, no, none of that. I'm just, uh, just a, a fan of the game. Yeah, and a player, of course. We'll get to talking to that uh, hopefully later. So Indeed. But, but, but I know last last uh, stream we did. Uh, I know it's my one. Garthnik was a bit um, pixelated. Now he's fine. He's fine. It's just inch on this time. So uh, he's, he's he's okay. Um, but again, obviously, it's not a stream without the odd um, issue. So, but yeah, fantastic. Hey, and and what some information we have got for you today? Hello, everyone. Uh, does he need more more volume? Wait there. I'll turn this bad boy up. How's that? Sounds good. good. Sounds fine to me, but it's uh, chat. chat. Hello, by the way, chat. What's going on? More? More? More. We just want more of that beautiful... Wait there. This should be good. More. They want more. more. Give me more connection. Wait there. How's that bad boy? That should be much better. Maybe even a bit too loud now. Let me turn that bit down. Bet you wish yeah, you didn't. Yeah, to too much. Yeah, too much. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys oh, for helping. Yeah. Um, but yeah, hello. Hello and everyone. Um, hello to the chat. Hope you've had a fantastic week. Obviously, we had uh, three epic games now the main stage is finished and we are on to the playoffs where we are going to tell you everything about gosh it's too loud no I'm too quiet <sighs> <laughs> we like we like goldilocks here you know he's too loud and he's too, <sighs> I, I wonder who's just right yeah. right i don't like this <laughs> i'm gonna quit hey, you know, i'm school. quitting after this season I'm done. <laughs> um, and everybody asks me, "Hey, where's where's the podcast been?" Now, you, now you understand. The, the, this the is yeah. Room understand, yeah. It, yeah. Like, I, I, obviously, you guys been in the chat just before uh, we went live, and I was a little bit stressing. Um, but even I had the whole day off, and I did some of the pre work before. And it's just you do not have enough time to do all this sort of stuff, and it just goes to show. I got, we maybe have to think twice about podcasting <laughs> the next season. Or... <laughs> hey, man, the, worst thing, like... the worst thing to see is you have a driver update or there's a pad. You're like, no, oh, no, it's fine. Oh we don't, don't, yes. I don't want to change anything. I don't care about your update. I want this to remain like this right now. So uh, no. Yeah, but it's like auto update shit. Oh, <laughs> yeah. But no, I was going to say, uh, before we begin, thanks to you guys for doing this, uh, filming. I mean, obviously... Um, there's a niche market of HL and then there's a niche of HL that loves competitive and then there's enough like guys for us that you know just can't get enough of it and I appreciate you guys doing this and uh, bringing me on board yeah no worries man I appreciate them as well because like uh, you know the audience of the people that we're doing it for and like the community is what we're doing for exactly so and we I, I've had some real fun maybe too much stress but fun um, and and you know we're we're only watching that's the problem obviously i know that these streamers they got a lot of pre-work to do when they when they're hosting their game and i, I realize that how much you actually have to do but at the end of the day we just sit and watch and we watch all the fun begin and i'd hate to be on the floor on <laughs> some of these uh, yes. and we'll go through oh the stats God. as well and how many people are getting kills i'm glad i'm up in this guy yeah um, yeah we can't complain for sure like until you get I mean, Intel's doing both, so I feel bad for him, but... I'm uh, <laughs> yeah. for punishment. I would yeah, say it is, it, it, there is sometimes, if you're watching, uh, there's different levels of stress. If you're playing in the match, you have your own kind of ebb and flow of stress. If you're watching True. your team, I was on vacation or business trips for three weeks, so I had to watch 
my team and the alliance fight like 116th and i admit i was more stressed out watching my team fight not being there and then when you're watching like other teams like we'll get to the 82nd and 116th mm -hmm. it was just a pleasure you're just like mm -hmm. this is a great yeah. fight i mean just like i get to enjoy so it's uh, all all different fa levels of stress yeah. on there and, and you still get yeah. a sweat patch even though you're watching <laughs> yeah, well unless that's me just sweating I think, I think that's you, <laughs> <laughs> um nice all right what we got for everyone tonight right let's let's kick it let's kick it so first game of the um, of the weekend was against tleg uh let's have a little look USA, at usa it was USA. the derby <laughs> Um, it was Foy, TL taking Axis, uh, EG taking Allies. It was uh, Mr. Nitro and Wild Bill Jamming, which was streaming this. Uh, fantastic game from them. I, I personally watched this one. Did anyone else see a little bit of them? I have not seen this one because I was away. So the very purpose Ooh. of the recapping is uh, me <laughs> for me this week. Yeah. I'm going to learn about this game. Keeping everyone up to date. Um, oh, I, I got... I caught the highlights of this one. I have to say that that opening, in fact, I think all three of these games, like the mm -hmm. midpoint fight, the opening, yep. you know, neutral area was just, I mean, it was dug out. It was everything you expected of Foy when I saw this. It was artillery taking out, you know, gobs of infantry. It was vehicles being blown up, trying to dive into the midpoint. Uh, and I don't, as I say, I think on this one, it was, uh, what, about a 10 minutes? 10 to 12 minutes before the midpoint was actually um, uh, decided? Nine minutes. Nine minutes. Nine minutes. Yeah, okay, one hour, minutes. 21, it was kept. So, a well, great, great opening. Um, interesting point layout, too. Uh, last week, we saw EG uh, fighting Trirex on um, West Bend. Yeah. Very quickly. Yeah. West and then, then we went over to the other side of the map, still with EG on the same side, comes out with a dugout. Really like to see uh, the two different points and see how they play. Uh, between two quality teams. Nice. It was looking like EG's favourite, seeing as they did take last week. So I was kind of favouring them if they're going to do the double win. Um, but I don't think it worked out for them for, for this. I think TL just really got the upper hand, um, even though EG, like, how to put it, they map controlled last last week um, on their uh, on their game against, uh, did they try Rex? Yeah. yeah, it yeah. was EG and Trirex. Trirex uh, took West Bend as German. Point. So EG was yeah. allies on both yeah. of those. Um, and uh, EG had an interesting play by not really even trying to contest uh, the midpoint. But here they adjusted. They went straight to the midpoint. They gave the line everything that they had. And really it was a fight over that entire midpoint until, I was going to say, you got the notes there. It wasn't yeah, until yeah. the last 20 minutes of the match where the 4-1 came into play. Mm. Yes. Sometimes that happens, yes. isn't it? Uh, around the seventeenth minute, actually. But um, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll give you the whole um, rundown of from from how I, I saw it. Um, so TL pushed on um, into oh that that point dugout barn. Um, they managed to cap it at one hour twenty one. So not a long fight. It's probably the average length of you know competition games when they cap the middle. Don't really see quick ones unless they really did just take out their truck and you know um, supply truck and stuff like that. So it was an average uh, cap time. Um, but straight away, TL once they capped it, they had uh, two squads right out at the top. I'm gonna say top or the side of the map, total opposite. They were already looking to flank. Um, obviously, there was already EG players in and around that area anyway. So the whole game. Both teams were looking to kind of outflank using the entire map. Because on Foy, you have to, basically. You have to use every little bit of um, little mount of, of snow. So they use that straight away. Well, it EG, forces you out, doesn't it? Because it's like the size of the fields. You have yeah. to go like out and around. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. Soul Raver, thank you very much for the raid. And hello, everyone that are joining. Welcome to Spring Season of Recap. And we have got... Garfnix on the oh. bottom right and Itchon in the fantastic orange. Looking very nice. Thank you, thank you. Um, EG was, sh I felt, struggling to get a little bit closer to Dugout. They they couldn't find it because they've got that quite a big uh, gap between um, the, their, their red zone or their blue zone. Pushing into Dugout is quite a big open field, especially near the train line as well. 
tra- train tracks. Tankers on both teams are thought done really, really well. They try to um, maneuver as much as possible, but they were very cautious of where the areas that they were going into because not only did they have tanks, but they also had 80 cannons built everywhere from both sides. So both teams had to really be careful on where they're going to push. Um, they mm. needed infantry to support and also maybe some smoke, you know, just something. But both teams, uh, tankers, did really, really well. Um, they were just constant back and forth, little skirmishes between them both um, for about half an hour until the uh, Stuart at the 58th minute and the looks, they found each other. Their recon team went, uh, recon tank went out, but the Stuart and the looks were just circling around a, like a little building, just going all the way around chasing each other um the looks was damaged but the steward managed to find a little angle and and take out the steward and that was uh zoon Alepsky, and mr samurai which which took that one out so it was it was that sort of game tanks were chasing each other they would do anything and even the little tanks were getting involved so it's good to see those um in and around the 48th minute you know that's how long sitch and his team were, you know, trying desperately to get back in it. But that flanking team that we saw at the beginning finally made its way round. And with Sitch's airhead and that little push from both um, squad leaders, that really managed to push into a uh, dugout. There was a little spawn from the airhead, which took it to about eight, maybe 12 players. Smoke came in from the arty as well. Um, tried tried to get there they had a little bit of a contestment but Sivus and uh taco tastic i believe came yeah, from behind he played so well last yeah, time player. against you guys yeah. yeah um those two players managed to come behind the spawn taking out what was remaining of the airhead and the op and just kind of kind of cleaned it up and uh tl managed actually brought all of their players back to defend that you know when you look at the map straight after there was no one even on the attack there was no one at, at their at their fourth point so they really didn't want, want to give that back um around the 32nd minute eg um finally managed to push back into that middle point but nothing really you know tl defense was really really good on it um very quick in responsive on to to try and get their their defensive squads back and also some of the attacking squads um, but a brave move from the Stuart, um, which was, I believe I had his name, Wolf and his team. I couldn't quite, I was looking at the at the admin camera there. It was Wolf and his, his uh, tanking squad. I can't quite remember that one. Um, but around the 50, 25th minute, Stuart and his, t- uh, and his Wolf team rushed into dugout and they pushed it so hard that the Stuart actually didn't manage to turn in time to go round the barn and it went straight into the wall um i believe it was streets that managed to get a satchel on him at the end um but just when you thought that there was going to be like a, a garrison going down we was watching it nothing happened but they, this is what we've needed to see throughout the tournament it's the tankers that are actually mm. sometimes leading the attack you know we just need a little audacious push and then we get a little contestment and then you've got the infantry so I guess that's what E.G. Um, Wolf Tank Squad was going to do, but nothing came out of that. Down to the 17th minute, <clears throat> TL, with their first actual major push onto the fourth point, managed to caps it with, uh, without ease. And we're listening to the commander after the game on Mr. Nitro's um, stream, and he also said that he actually threw a bit too many people out there. And if they lost that and eg actually saw that opportunity to push in they would have lost the game so it's a very very um, risky uh choice there but it worked out and they end 4-1 with 15 minutes left and that was it game nice yeah playing against the line man you, you have to respect how forward uh leading they are um they i mean admittedly they keep a light defense knowing that their you know, armor, which is one of the best in the game, and the amount of sheer bodies they're going to put up on the front line, that if you do not, you know, if you overextend, 
within seconds you're going to figure it out because they're going <laughs> to yeah. be in the cap. They're going to be in the active sector. Exactly. And if you don't stop and in another 30 seconds, they're going to be in your strong point. So um, I, I like I like the bold play. I like this. You know, it's an elimination game. Um, I was honestly surprised to see EG mm. want to play uh, the line on Foy. Um, yeah. This has been one of their bread and butter maps for you know years. Um, they've played a lot. Uh, they're really great at it, and I think EG to walk away with a one-four against the line, especially being the way that new to the seasonal format. Um, I mean, we had the Lost Squad in there. The Russians have been involved in the seasonals before, but I think this is a great showing to see a new alliance. Um, Sync, I believe, was his uh, his leader's name, if I remember correctly, yep. for EG. Yep. Um, you know, Sync came so, out and said as much. Yeah. Hey, this was we, we we wanted to make our presence back on the stage. Mm -hmm. I think they made a great one, yeah. um, but at the end. You were essentially playing on the Lions' home court, and they showed they showed why. <laughs> yeah, I mean they're such a good team. I think you know it's no uh, disservice to EG to say that they were probably like the underdogs coming into it. I mean the public vote. Um, oh yeah, kind of supported that as well. 112 votes to the line and only 65 to EG. So um, the public kind of probably thinking that this was going to be the end of the road like it's a difficult yeah. draw for eg but at the end of the day like this is the end of the tournament and the they're going to go into the playoffs to play against some of the best teams of the tournament so um they're obviously going to put up their best fight mm -hmm. but um tl a real good team like uh, i'm I mean, just that, a curiosity where, where, where are they based out of usa he, uh, <laughs> <laughs> i think you went okay. Greek. i was gonna say oh, for, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. yeah of course like um and and I was just about to say, to be fair, that you know um, you had a great game. ESPT, OPBHB had an amazing game against uh, the Lion last weekend, uh, and uh, like similar thing there, where they were like super attacking. They didn't put too many people back. Um, they used their tanks to like full effect, miss a do, uh, etc. And his tank squad like really really good. Uh, I, I'd be interested to see if they uh, make it on the stats again. Because that would make it three in a row for them as uh, one of the top tanks. Well, I see a grin there from Connection. Like maybe so that's a maybe. I just um, had stats, and we have so much today. It's ridiculous. Yeah, but EG like fair play for even standing up to that tanking. And like if you say their tanks were really good, like respect. Yeah, <laughs> respect because that's that's not an easy thing to do. Shall we have a little look at eighty two AD taking on one one six Greyhounds? Yeah, and I like yeah. that you actually put, put me right up uh, next to that scoreboard. So this is the one that I actually got to broadcast uh, with Digi Shadow. Uh, Mono was originally on the docket. However, he had some family commitments. Uh, so Digi stepped in uh, as he did. And this, I mean, an honor to first off bring, to be part of this match and to bring it out there. Um, I think this was everything that everybody wanted plus more as far as a point. I'm going to pull up my notes here uh, just quickly. So... Uh, it's another one of those battles. It was Utah. It was Chapel. It was right in the middle. And, you know, with the way Chapel strong points kind of situated, you expect the allies to um, get in there and get control. Man, that was not the case. This uh, fight was 12 minutes. Bombing runs were available to help try to contest the midpoint. Jeez. And, I mean, we saw, which was really kind of been the set the tone for a lot of the game. We saw 80 seconds artillery come out and, and just start swacking uh, the 116th guys. But 116th had a solid game plan that they held um, for a majority of the game. And ultimately, it wound up uh, leading to the 5-0 victory here. But it was not by any means a set 5-0 if you watch this. Definitely go back and check out the replay. Mm. So we talked about the opening. Tough. Eight, five, uh, 12 minutes over there, 80 second ADs, um, artillery coming in. They did take the midpoint, and this was actually a surprise, is that they actually got the armor advantage over 116th. 116th, as long as much as we played them, we have a mm. lot of respect, and you always got to count for their armor. But give it up to 82nd AD's armor. They came up, they showed through the entire match, uh, all up until like the last bit of it, um, they really kind of had 116th armor on their back heels. But we go in. We're, we got the chapel, 80 seconds over there. I mean, it's uh, their whole 116 is holding the northern compound, 80 second AD is holding that TE intersection on the south side. Um, and it's just back and forth, back and forth. Well, about 30 minutes later, finally 116th, getting that pressure on the north side and connecting in with uh, direct east to that kind of like canal area, winds up taking the point. 
minutes later, 82nd AD, realizing that they're about to lose, actually, I think it was Spearhead, if I remember the name correctly, gets an OP right on the backside, puts it down uh, right after the point, and 82nd AD comes back, caps it right back. Oh, nice. 35 minutes, Mark, we're going there, they're grinding and we're grinding, all of a sudden, 116th, boom, they take back the midpoint, then 82nd takes it, and it's just it's going there, 18, uh, sorry, flip that, 116th gets it back, and they're grinding 80 seconds right up there. Uh, each time that 116th took the point, they did have an initial like one or two guys on the fourth point, which was canal crossing all the way down in the south. I mean, that's a lot of distance between those two points. Uh, I want to say like 700 meters between the two strong points. But finally, after one of those points, 116th got down there, 18 minutes left. They finally take the fourth point. But guess what happens? No. Boom! Eighty second AD is oh. right back on them. Right, so, so in total, it just go all the way. Eighty second AD got it back. They didn't have anything in place. I mean, the chat was going crazy. Like, here comes the chain cap. One sixteenth overextended. Eighty second AD did everything they could to get back on the fourth point, get a little bit more time on the clock to try to take the midpoint. Um, but then one sixteenth came back um, about uh, after was it four minutes? The recap, and then got here three minutes. They took it back. Down into the teens, 116th actually just winds up solidifying. Their armor comes into play. Their armor starts making some great shots. Um, AT gun taking out a, a, a last dish, uh, Tiger by the 82nd. And we're actually clicking away. It's four minutes left. We're saying congratulations to 82nd AD. Great seasonal. 116 says, nah, you know what? We're pushing it. We're pushing it for the 5-0. Oh, and they go all the way into, um, I forget that last point, um, a St. Marie approach or something of that nature. Yeah. Mm. And... Uh, Goes in, so the 5-0. So if you look, if you look at the scoreboard, this looks like, oh yeah, one sixteenth was favored. I mean, you're looking at the the player stat or the vote public poll. What was it at? Yeah, uh, one sixteenth was favored. Uh, Seventy to one one six and forty one to eighty uh, to eighty. Yes. Yeah. So I, I think the, the heavy favors coming in for one sixteenth, but by no means did one sixteenth uh have this thing in the bag it was 89 minutes all the way up to the very end seven point flips outside of the initial cap seven so just back and seven back and Jeez. forth back and forth back and forth go to the fourth point back and forth back and forth that's um, crazy real, yeah really really great match and um i mean we we saw i actually wound up messaging some of the a second ad we saw one sixteenth having a great uh, artillery snipe spot that 82nd AD was able to counter. Um, there was little micro engagements happening everywhere on the battlefield. Um, not too many airheads. We didn't see really that many airheads. This was, mm -hmm. you know, just a grind for both teams, and it was really a pleasure to watch. So if you get a chance, definitely check it out. But congratulations to 116th, who I think on this this has kind of been a, a little bit of a surprising seasonal for them. I did not think they expected to see themselves um, fighting in the you know in a knockout round for the main stage. And for 82nd AD, you know, this was a question, you know, coming off of the previous uh, alliance with uh, DC and them, could they maintain their number three seed throughout the seasonal? At the end here, they uh, they got sent, um, sent home. out, but by God, did they go out fighting? <laughs> it was. Sounds it, like it. it, it I watched uh, your stream as well. It was ridiculously tough. Yeah, we had cap races. We had everything you want in a comp match. We didn't have a good satchel. I was looking for a good satchel. <laughs> That's the only thing was missing. <laughs> need more satchels. Got to have more cowbell, right? I need more cowbell. Need more satchels. <sighs> nice. I mean, that sounds amazing. Now, how many times did you say there that it went back to fours? So I count, I, outside of the initial opening cap, it was seven caps seven. outside oh of the God. initial one. That includes the 5 0. So yeah, seven yeah. times a point got captured after the initial. That's crazy. Yeah. That's actually crazy. Um, speaking of um, uh, House Gangster saying that the uh, the P4 killing both Stuarts and the 75, I remember that um, I think it was EG that managed to take out, I think it was the previous weekend, it was EG taking on 82 AD. Uh, EG took out the transport truck and a uh, recon tank, I believe, at the opening push, which allowed EG to cap but obviously given in time, 82 AD came back. And 82 AD lost their truck again, going through the same uh, push as they did last uh, last weekend. 
So if you're watching, keep an eye on that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I was going to say, I think a couple couple weeks ago, you guys talked about um, our match against WTH and, oh, these guys, you know, playing the chess match. Are we watching each other's VOD? You're damn right we're watching each other's VOD. Of course VOD. you are. Every you are. damn minute we're watching. You have to be. Cause, yeah. Yeah. Because then, then it comes to, I'll give it to the, my guys. I got I got a little bit of a think tank that they just consume this guy. And I go, figure out how to counter this. Like, yeah. Roger, going on to the <laughs> test server. So if you see these servers around seasonal time that have yeah. like four and like eight people in them at like 10 p.m. on a Tuesday. We're just firing yeah. a gun and going in admin camp. <laughs> yeah, it's just guys in admin camp. Yeah, we're, yeah. Just, we're just... It does it, it does make me wonder because like you, like you will stop streaming and then you'll go to bed because you're knackered. And then you wake up and there's like hundreds of views, Sorry, and I'm were like, you just, "Were you just, were you just going to skip over that?" What was I going to say? What, 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 no, what? comment. I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'll let you comment on that one. Okay, moving on. Uh, but anyway, you go to bed naked. <laughs> oh, I was going to say. <laughs> oh, I wish. I wish. It's a bit cold that moment. <laughs> um, oh, I feel bad now. <laughs> Anyway, on. <laughs> let's go ahead and go on to the next match. Sure. So I did manage to watch this one, PHX S versus SCDB. Okay, go for it. Yeah, I mean, uh, so first thing, like uh, maybe I'll start with the public vote on this one. So PHX had 34 uh, and SCDB had 91, so nearly three times the number of votes. So bear that in mind, like, <laughs> as we go along. They're playing on Samurai Glees. We've got PHX, uh, PHX as allies, SCDB, Axis. Um, we've got Checkpoint as a center point, so the one that everybody hates the most, obviously. Um, SCDB capped, again, around that average kind of 10 minutes mark. Um, it was quite even fighting, and actually it sort of looked for a second as though PHX might take it, but SCDB kind of made it count, got that first cap. Uh, they put good pressure on Maison de Crick, which was the uh, the second point for the Allies, PHX. Um, so it's just that straight run across the field there, kind of down the ditch. Um, there's a road out, like, to the... If you're if you're attacking it kind of thing, it's, like, out to your left as you're looking at it, um, up to the sort of north uh, as you're looking at the map. Um, pushing around that way, like, they did well. Um, they got a nice airhead, actually, like, real close to Maison. But um, some of the guys from PHX, I didn't see who it was, got an amazing, like, clutch garrison up that literally, like, saved that point. Um, it's just in the wheat field out to the, the back of the point, and they managed to get it up, get people forward. And despite good RT as well, to be fair, from um, SCDB actually attacking that uh, field, like, they still managed to get enough people up push them out, clear out the airhead, um, even though they had people in the buildings there at Maison de Creek, so um, really nice defending in the end, but a little bit tense for a moment there. Um, and um, some more tense moments as well, kind of around like um, an hour uh, remaining, 50 minutes remaining. Um, the center point, so checkpoint, like kind of um, flanked around the back. PHX um, got like a nice little uh, squad around the back. I think it was... Um, <clears throat> Uh, oh, I forget who it was now. Actually, the the squad leader like came around the back of the point, um, managed to get a, a OP up, um, pushed into the point. Then there's kind of attack going on uh, up from the uh, the north, like where the um, the orchard is uh, coming in there as well. And then some smokes and stuff. And it was a bit disorientating for the people who were remaining in defence. And it's a bit like uh, I guess what you were talking about just a minute ago, Inchon, where um, at this kind of level of the tournament. You know, you have to expect as a team, I suppose, to have to, like, you're never, or it's very, very rare that you're going to just instantly, like, cap a point and then be able to cap the next point and domino it. Like, yep. yes, you almost, you have to have somebody there waiting to try and get that domino because you almost need that effect just to take away any of those remaining defenders to, like, push them back further to, to buy you time for your guys to move up. But you can't. You can't expect necessarily, like, especially on your first attempt, you can't expect to um, capture that that next point. But there ends up being this this to and fro, this kind of tug and pull, and and a, a kind of a flow of the game. And oftentimes, what ends up happening, and where these results, like when you see four one or five nil or whatever, and a very good example, I think, is actually that game last week against the line ESBT uh, OP BHB, um, to mention it again, where they're it was like to and fro over the middle point. And, and what happens is like that energy, whoever kind of reads it the best and can, and can stay in the flow of it the best 
it's like a tennis rally, you know, mm-hmm. like you, you have to basically wait for the enemy to make a mistake. And, and you have to be just like playing those moves until they kind of make a mistake or just allow that little opening to form. And, yeah, and that's what happened here. Those, those types of matches, I mean, you're playing in one minute increments. One yeah. minute, you know, where two or three squad leaders make the right decision of adjusting an OP, getting an OP over here, falling back. One of the hardest things that we try to tell people is if you spawn here, turn around and shoot the guys like back up you and try to, con- you know, meet up with another force. Yeah. Um, those little one minute decisions and those back and forth leads to these just crazy ebb and flows of matches that <laughs> it's draining. <laughs> it's yeah. draining, you know, after 90 minutes. Absolutely. I mean, I can, I don't play it myself, but I can definitely tell. And, and you see it like at the elite level of any uh, sport, like, and, and so much so that if you play like, um, you know, EA Sports video games of like FIFA or or whatever, like they put in that ebb and flow into the game as like a mechanic because like once you score a goal, you get a certain energy behind you. But equally, like, you know, the other team is going to get a certain energy from having a goal scored against them. And so it, it, it just happens to be kind of that it's this this to and fro. And and that was what's happening here with SCDB and, and PHX um, and what happens in a lot of these top tier games where, you know, uh, SCDB cap first, they looked like they were going to push really hard, get get a, a nice like domino effect, but it wasn't enough. It got pushed back. Then they had to defend again, kind of thing, because there's like a nice flank going on um, around the center point. Um, you know, PHE, a PHX had to um, kind of back off their attack on Western approach um, and actually come and uh, defend a bit as well at checkpoint. You know, and it was this like to and fro like all the time. Um, then. Uh, SCB basically they defended well at Western um, it, it, despite this pressure um, and and came back around again to to push um, the other way um, and to be fair something I haven't mentioned here as well is like this is a really big match in the sense that um, both these teams are German so it's a derby they're also both from the qualifying rounds together like they've come all the way yeah. through this tournament from like the first first week I don't know how many weeks ago like actual weeks ago that is now but like 20 weeks ago or something it, it seems like like it's a it's it's a long time that these teams have been playing and to culminate in this match for one of them to go out is like huge i, I need to mention that um but scdb basically they had a good attack on checkpoint around 10 minutes remaining in the game um and they kind of came in from the west from the like rue de gambersville area like right around the back um again north down the road like towards checkpoint use smokes um and they kind of went in all in at checkpoint, um, but they just weren't able to get it from from PHX. And in the end, PHX kind of brought their tanks up. Um, and and in a way, like the tanks um, for SCDB, you'd expect them to be a bit more like powerful, I think. Uh, um, but they were dealt with like very very strongly by the infantry. Um, and so in the end, they ended up with PHX having checkpoint. 10 minutes remaining, SCDB are pushing them so, so hard. They've got smokes down, they've got infantry flanking all around, but you've got a Stuart there and a Greyhound in the point, a checkpoint in that kind of back garden area by the ditch, just firing like at will, basically, um, mowing down these people as they came into the point. Um, and PHX basically won with the free T, but it was just crazy close the whole game. And like both teams, like we had Logical Lee on the show before. Um, from stdb the commander um we've had uh soul raver as well so like both teams like come all the way through um but unfortunately it's goodbye to stdb despite them having like possibly the, one of the coolest logos in the uh in the tournament um but PHX, what talk. an amazing uh what an amazing win i think they do generally have the, the ni- nicest and the best looking one yeah, I'm not wearing my hoodie today because <laughs> that's why, that's in, in commemoration, said. like they've gone out. I'm I'm wearing it all black. You can see actually. Oh, I'm, he I've got wants my a t-shirt next time. Here, but... Yeah, I need to get a PHX shirt. I'm that I'm that fickle. <laughs> just support the winning team, but yeah, amazing game from both uh, from both of them on Sam Regley's. So just like proper duke it out. I will say, and I'm going to say, not to take any away from this, the best logo still has to go to the five from last seasonal. 
their logo there with the fighting chicken. Ah, oh, dude, I love that. If you haven't got a chance, I'm gonna say bring back that alliance just to bring back the logo. Yeah, <laughs> I loved it. It was like it was ah, it's great. Or, I mean, some maybe... of them are literally like amazing. Uh, this this time around on the tournament, like I, the trigger one for me is just so like whoever drew that is like a G. Oh, that just motivates you. Yeah, it yeah. just like I want to go fight for that team. And let's and let's give a credit here to what we're on the topic. To I mean. All yep. of these teams, I and mean, we we're, we're at the point of elimination. But the um, the sense of brotherhood, the camaraderie of these communities, and you know the the that the, their their I was gonna say just motivation to put bring the HL game competitive scene as a player driven community to this level, and then just you know put a little icon. I mean the, the work that goes into the icons and the symbols it are top notch. Let alone the the week by week posters, the strats. Yeah. The the Twitch chats. I mean, it's it's a great scene to be part of, and I think and the logos are just one physical, tangible that we could say is like those guys got it going on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And and like you say, the guys who are on those uh, those servers at like four a.m. for seven hours trying to figure out like the tank snipes, yeah. um, and like just everybody putting in so much work for the for the game all around, really. Um, and it's so, not yeah, like fantastic anyone. Week with those, like, it's not like anyone goes and gets paid for it. Do you know what I mean? It's just genuinely one, Although, it's love for the game, and two, it's love for their community, and they want to win. Yeah, for sure. Although, having said that, lots of people have asked, and, and if you're on the seasonal Discord, like um, you might have seen this, but lots of people have asked about how you can support the seasonal, yeah. and actually, um, they've started a Patreon on like due to the popular demand. So go check that out. I'll share the link in the chat. Um, that's literally like a development from the last couple of days. Yeah. But yeah, go show um, the seasonal like organizers your support. Should uh, be on their by, announcement, uh, I believe, if you're yeah, on their Discord. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll share that from Discord now. Um, but yeah, um, sounds like a really good weekend. Um, not yeah. so many games this weekend, obviously, but... Um, <laughs> but all of them were a powerhouse. So all yeah. were a powerhouse. <laughs> I'm and, and three of these teams went out, which is crazy. Like, such powerful top-tier teams. Like you say, 82 AD got third last year with DC. Yeah, it, it was insane. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Heidi Heidi had a lot of promise. What EG? That was his, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. his look out. He's up and coming. Yeah. That's why he's not in chat. And, <laughs> I mean, and I'll give I'll give you credit. Go back to Phoenix. Two seasonal goes. I want to say Phoenix took fourth place. Yep. In there, yep. so redemption for Phoenix. There's not a lot of communities that you know rise and then kind of go through a rebuilding phase and then come back to you know you know, have an opportunity to uh, meet or improve their previous performances over such a long period of time. Mm-hmm. So credit to uh, Phoenix on that one. Let's, let's not underestimate or, you know, no. skim over that. So they, they will be back. I believe it's for the autumn one. Autumn. Sorry. Uh, it's it's yeah, the yeah, autumn probably. seasonal, right? Oh, hold on. I, I'll, I'll do i uh, I'll pull up the seasonal while you guys uh, fill dead air here for a second. <laughs> um so but uh, yes so that's totally true and not like inchon says it's not too common that those teams like come back but also like shout massive shout out and respect to scdb as well for literally forming like hardly any time ago in the grand scheme of things and being at this level n- now like competing in all these different tournaments like having the organization to even have a merch shop so i can buy a, a hoodie so like um you know huge respect there huge respect to sitch and the guys over at eastern group as well for like orchestrating all their stuff going on and like getting all the people in four different time zones or whatever the hell they're working with over there uh, uh you know to be able to kind of play all at the same time and then playing against uh, the line as well like all the way from north america and like people you know sorting out like uh obviously doing the band phase and and somebody has like a probably a ping advantage and, and yeah. you know like it still playing anyway and and still you know trying their best and and um yeah like you say 116 for they've had their own like mini redemption story within this tournament i feel like they've been you know mm-hmm. bouncing their <laughs> their ass off the ground uh to try and get going a little bit but they're here and uh, yeah well let's let me just say took the time to pull this up here um, and I, I stand corrected. Uh, Phoenix did get uh, into it looks like a, a top six finish. And look at the brackets here, uh, but it was actually Phoenix and one sixteenth paired up, got knocked out by HLTC uh, in the redemption round four. So Phoenix okay. and one sixteenth used to be together. I actually totally forgot about that, and now both those teams are on their own and moving into the top eight. So. 
Uh, so really, really, I mean, awesome story there about just the ebb and flow, the greater ebb and flow of these HL communities. Mm, absolutely. If you're yeah. if you're playing the drinking game, I think three more times. If I say <laughs> ebb and flow, you can like just take a shot. I gotta, I gotta get a new, I heard new you line said, here. Like, yeah. Stropino the whiskey. <laughs> Stropino. Um, so let's have a little look at the summary of the main stage before we jump onto the stats. Mm. So, um, looking at the entire um, board, um, it is. Core and WTH that have gone through uh, to three three wins to zero. Then it goes to Trigger, Blacklist, and ESP, T, uh, BOP, BHP, and OP. Sorry. Uh, yeah, sorry that we did get you guys a more consolidated name. I actually <laughs> laugh a little bit inside every time everybody tries to say just all these letters. It's, uh, oh, you know. <laughs> it, it is a mouthful. It, but you've, I, when I, well, I don't know about the other guys, but when I say it i feel bad if i just say the first beginning bit the espt bit and yeah. then you just you like, have to, you have to say oh yeah oh no and it, it equal equal credit goes to everybody in in that alliance uh, everybody brings a, a key contributor and yeah, uh, we we would not have the success if it wasn't for all three of those mm -hmm. uh, members so then we also have the winners of um yesterday's game so that's tl phoenix and 116 so there they are the eight teams that are going through uh we obviously see we saw two weeks ago goodbye to the ufr and hello in poland and cc they went three nil zero then we also um 501 and bastardo boys trirex and fin let loose they went three one out that was uh previous weekend and then obviously again um from last weekend we say goodbye to eg a eighty two AD and uh, STDB, those are it. But harsh. They they are the really thing huge. is they're good enough. You know, pick one or two of them. They are good enough to be in the playoffs. You know, some of them not quite there yet. Um, but are definitely uh, some some of them are worthy to be in playoffs, and that just goes to show the level of quality that we've got in this tournament, especially with yeah. the added. Uh, eight teams we had no 16 teams i know we had 24 so yeah how many did we add on 12 we had 12 <laughs> you know, good with numbers oh, you know. a, lot, a lot of new teams <laughs> too, too many yeah. stats and but i think that's given some like awesome games throughout the whole tournament like it you know this new system having more teams like we've got some really really great matchups and and there's kind of been like different levels of the tournament and now we're at the playoffs we literally are at like the top level of how yeah. level is competitive uh well i'm I mean, I'll be honest, this kind of feels like Hunger Games, you know, when like the tributes, like the, like at night, they say like, these are the teams that got knocked out yeah, tonight. Yeah. And I'm, yeah. I feel, you know, like, you know, I'm looking up, I'm like, oh my God, we, we, we lost 82nd. Like, yeah. oh what? man, that, that hurts, you know. I, I, somebody needs to make a meme uh, or a little gif mm -hmm. of just that, 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 you know, the tributes that got lost today, but. Um, yeah, with the sound of the cannon. Yeah, I mean, I, I look, I look at this and. You know, there, there's some discussions uh, happening with team captain meetings and things of this nature is about, um, you know, what, the feedback on the this, this type of system. And I look at this and go, for the matches that we played and where the teams are at today, I think through this process, we got to the top eight teams that are heading into the playoff. Hmm. And it's going to yeah, be tough. For sure. Klong Pong is right, I think, in the uh, chat here saying that the uh, the 2 1 stage was like such a grind. Or like the 2 1 1 2, like all of those games were just like. Savage to get to where we are right now has just been a yeah, like you say, some hunger games. Like, yeah, your friends are gone <laughs> now. Is it, I, I seem to remember uh, when the game released, somebody did a, a quite a funny video with like a I don't know, it's like a, a graveyard or something, and like zooming in on the gravestone. And I feel like we need one of those now, like you say, uh, with like all the different names of the teams, maybe like uh, firing off some guns. In, Bring in that remember. back. Oh, are you talking about Sam's video? Maybe we won't. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, let's say we'll give, we'll give a. I think Sam. We give him a. All right, that's enough time. Moving okay. on. <laughs> so okay. Before we jump on to you know the playoffs, let's have a look back at the stats for last weekend, and then the whole of main stage, and we've got some oh, good ones for main stage. But go can on. I say one thing go real quick? It. Because right before the show, I went back through and looked at everybody's pickums, 
for who would be in the make the playoffs. Oh, okay. oh, nice. Not a single person from what I saw got it right. There was a lot of people, about a, hand, a dozen or so, that got it off on one team. And one of the biggest spoilers was Phoenix. Phoenix, not a lot of people expected Phoenix coming mm-hmm. in there. But just in case you're wondering, did anybody predict this top eight? No, March Madness brackets were busted. You know, that was our Cinderella. So anyway, I, I want to get that out with the time it was right. Yeah, nice. stats. Good check-in. I think, actually, I got it right, but I just uh, failed to submit it in time. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was like those lottery numbers, too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just, just, just a week late. Um, but no, it was, it was quite quite nice that um, not many people have already predicted um, actually the whole outcome yet so, so far. And even though that the predictions have been pretty kind of spot on from the um the public not not with the um who goes through yeah chat who's your uh who's the final let's let's have it now <laughs> while we let's... go on to the stats Ooh. who's the final so, who's uh, the final so yeah we got some stats phoenix. in there while they these guys decide who they reckon i mean obviously we've got some phoenix uh guys in the chat i think i might have to uh jump in on this we can we can ask that question when we um when we can go through the whole table format of um who's going to play who because you can kind of see the layout of the game is going to be played and who's going to be playing who um core blacklist uh i don't think core and blacklist can play yeah they're on the same part right now yes, they can't. they're in the same part of the bracket yeah. same side but of the bracket we'll, we'll jump on that um shortly just after the sets um, and then you can, we can have a proper visual of the whole uh, three weeks out. left. No. Cool page. Quickly, hide, 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 hide. It's already too late. Oh, no. No, no. <laughs> no like, one's like allowed into the Christmas presents. Like this. I, I'm glad you said Christmas presents. Yeah, like, oh, you're not supposed to see this. Now you've ruined Christmas. Yeah. Damn it, Twitch viewers, you ruined, you ruined the stats. Daddy, what are you doing to mommy? <laughs> I cannot nothing, nothing, believe son. I did that. What a I'm giving you a hug. Okay, so this is what we're going to go ahead. Do not pay attention to the scene, what's happening right now. Yeah, you never saw... No screenshots. Nobody. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, while we're here, let's go ahead and give some time. Uh, abusify the stats, man. Uh, oh. I, I think every week we say it. Uh, you guys say it. Yeah. I yeah. hear it from your mouth to my our ears. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, 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 what he's able to do with these stats, um, uh, and you know, provide it out there. Granted, you know, one of the great things that I think a lot of us love about HL is it's not scoreboard driven per se. It's not kill streaks. It's all this, but there's obviously you know some desire and hunger to see. Okay, like who actually is like my peers, and how do I compare it to this? So, I think Abusify and uh, Jane, uh, Jan. Uh, yeah, being able to provide this it's really really awesome so yeah yeah for sure i mean yeah thank you jane this week as well and so and jane also jane? Oh, jane 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 well, okay i think well so. i'm we're going with jane i was gonna say either that or either you're right or i'm either way she's one never of us corrected is off, me she's never one of us yeah. is off the christmas card list we'll yeah. going. <laughs> we'll just call her um something else um boss so uh no she's done a really amazing job with the um like all these backgrounds that you're seeing all of the like stylized um stuff for like the seasonal the website all of that shane <laughs> shut up soul raver uh yeah like does an amazing amazing job with that and she's always like so quick like all of those scoreboards and the tables that you mm. see on the um the seasonal discord she's really quick with that um and abusify as well does all the bots for the ban phase as well so um like literal super team there to be fair if if at the end when everyone shows their logs i don't know if you've anyone can see but on the discord you can see jane she's normally on the top right um and it will either say like she's listening to spotify but there's when she's doing stuff like that it says playing on uh, adobe so you can kind (laughs) of see like straight away she's on it she's she's editing and then you know stuff like that so big big yeah big big thanks to you know the seasonal guys and abuse fan jane especially Jane for sorting these stats out today. Um, but yeah, let's let's have a little look at these stats. So we're going to look at the bottom of the middle. Last week's stats combined. 
So, um, you know, we've got obviously the games, partic participants, kills, team kills, and all of the search tools. Let's have a little look. Three games, 295 uh, players, 9,900 in just three games. That's a lot. That's crazy. That's that is a lot, and that's more than the uh, the average. That's which the was high about... average, yeah. Yeah. Because like normally about three thousand, two thousand eight hundred is like the average for a game. So yeah, nine thousand I mean, nine hundred is high. These that... these these teams at this stage, they don't miss their shots. They don't miss shots. <laughs> that's true. No. And they were they were long games as well. Uh, yeah. Four one three two. So you know that takes that into consideration as well. Um, yeah, a lot of team kills. An awful lot. 14 satchel, 85 RT, uh, 26 to vehicle, um, maybe explosions by that one, and then six road kills. Whether you're getting out of a truck or you're getting run over, um, so raver, we never miss. I love it. Um, but let's have a look at the top left. Last week's top killer per game. So leading it, it is uh, TL versus EG. That's who has the top killer. Streets. streets again 77 with a g4 uh, g43 and then sony uh with a 62 with an m1 grand some good kills nice i mean streets again with like he just He's slaps everywhere every time and i'll say that it, it, it. And if you guys haven't talked to him, I was gonna say he's he's a really humble, really down to earth guy. So he's he's not one of these, you know, like lives in his parents' basement type deal. <laughs> that guy apparently does hey. play on the floor, if I remember oh, correctly. Bless him. On the floor, like lie on his belly. Um, <laughs> shout out to, and no disrespect, by the way, to any of our viewers who uh, play in their mom's basement. basement. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just to hey, be clear, like Eminem did Joshua, it. so love, like you know. Uh, respect that. Yeah, no. We all got to start somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I played in my mum's basement when I was... No, uh, no, I didn't no, have my no, own basement, hey, hey, you know what I mean? This is about the teams and not about, you know, your past. We'll talk about that later over some beers. <laughs> <laughs> Man, what's that thing in uh, South Park where uh, oh my. <laughs> they, they play World of Warcraft or whatever it is? Wobble Gong just scared me. My was there on Sunday. I was like, what? Is it actually? <laughs> Wait. Uh, Mother's Day Sunday? No, it's Mother's Day gone. is Sunday for the US. For oh. the US. And so all oh, you all y'all in your teens freaked me out a couple weeks ago when you're like, it's Mother's Day, it's Mother's Day. I'm like, yeah. holy shit! Like, gotcha. I'm like, I gotta go get something. Like, because I got my mom, oh. I got my wife, I got all this stuff. So, so basically, oh, God, it's Mother's yeah. Day for everyone else, but just not England. We want to be different. Or the UK. Classic. Yeah. Yep. Classic. Right. It's so awkward. Game two, eighty-two AD. <laughs> Against the Greyhounds, we have. Thorpey. Look at that. Thorpey, and I think Thorpey, he's in again. chat as well. It's disgusting. 122. <sighs> so you've done the top for each team, yeah? Top for each team. Yeah. Do you, so, do you have the stats there, or can I. Should, should I just grab um, them? I, I think I do. Give me I, one I can get them myself if not, because I'm just curious to see like who. Because there's quite a big difference between 122 and 75, so I'm just wondering like who's in between. Who's that in, the, in between for uh, 82 AD if they've got other so, guys up there? Yeah, so I got I got 122, but actually Jim sent me the stats for theirs. Uh, we might we might do a little validation here because Merck, who is on artillery, yeah. I actually show at 139. Oh. So this might just be yeah, infantry. Yeah, so this is kills. infantry. It should have yep. the infantry. No, give me one second. It's not there. Either. I don't know why it, it didn't show. I don't okay, know. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's infantry only. Um, otherwise, we'd only see RT. Um, yep. Yep. So is... infantry there. Uh, but yeah, Thorpey was everywhere on the battlefield where he needed to be. Yes. And I like this because you see that on you know on the German side, the G forty three preferred by one shooter, STG preferred by another one. I, I like yeah. seeing that kind of preference. Yeah. Um, so the top kills was 139 Merc, 122 Thorpey, Botanic 94, Zark 75, Gecko 74, often... So a few guys then between for 82 AD, despite them 
Oh, uh, right. hold up. Right. Botanic, Zara, that? Gecko, yeah, Zara, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, but uh, yeah, Botanic was RT. So, um, Zark, right. Zark was fourth. Got you, got you. Yeah. So, but, thought we just like way ahead of the pack then. Yeah. But, <laughs> just, just a one man record crew. I mean, as always, let's face it. I think this is why he's like fourth appearance. But, but you have to give it to one one six because, um, eighty two AD came top uh, first, second, and first, and then it was. Fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, all the way to the eighth, even ninth was all one one six. It's a high standard. Yeah. yeah. It was uh ninety four, seventy five, seventy four, seventy three, seventy two, seventy one. Nice. So, you know, v- balanced uh against yeah. against the, the, the famous Thorpey. Well, um, I wanna I wanna put a pin in that for later when we get to the overall seasonals because I think there's a you know Different different ways to look at strengths of teams as far as their top twenty five percent versus middle and things of that nature. But mm-hmm. let's put a bit yeah. of that. Come back to it. Uh, SDB Phoenix. Uh, Dustin Drew again. Yeah, yeah. Seventy nine on the SG, STG and then uh, and APK. APK again as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tight one between them, um, but yeah, fantastic. Lots of kills as well, and I think we've seen a little bit more of the average, of she compared to to last week's, um, which is good. We're getting a little bit more kills. I think that's because the games were so long on these ones. <clears throat> I mean, yeah. these are just like the same last week too. I, maybe it's just like fluke, but like these teams are just so tough against each other. And and when it's those games that are. <laughs> The drinking game ebb and flowing like this and they do go on like you say for quite a long time and it is all about attack and counter attack and defense and then attacking again and you end up like some of these players who are bouncing around like from attack to defense and stuff if they're really really good like they just get so many kills yeah uh let's have a little look at last week's top rt killer so in third place with 82 ad that's the logo We've got uh, Mike. Is that how you pronounce it? Mike? Merck. 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 I think it's Merck. Merck. With 133 RT kills last week. Wow. Sure. <laughs> That's the third. Yeah. Second goes to EG. Hungry Bus. 143. Dang. How many is TL going to get? Uh, Zephod? I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, Zayfod. Zayfod with 154. Oh, my Lord. Well, that's boy. That's boy there for you. <laughs> that's disgusting. A lot, True. lot True. of dense. A lot of oh. infantry gets pretty dense there as they're not running in those open fields, those snow covered fields. Ridiculous. Yeah, not many people standing inside the barn, a dugout barn, I guess. Um, Let's have a look at last week's top kill streak, infantry only. So we have got Greyhounds, Gecko with 16 kill. That is good for for um, competitive, and it's only inventory as well. 16 kills. I I, I guess it kind of helps if you're an anti RT because you can kind of hide. But if these guys are actually Most in the thick of it, been, yeah. yeah. It's, or it's really RT good. themselves. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the top kill streak for the uh, for the whole tournament is is RT, of course. Oh yeah, we'll get on that. That's is, that's interesting. <clears throat> Purple Heartline. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, literally, Chucky Core. I think uh, it's two thirty one. Oh well, well, it's not going to hit of ourselves here. It's foreshadowing. <laughs> We've got STDB Marsmic with seventeen. Um, which is which is good. I'm just going to move that slightly there. Um, and then for the first place, it does go to TL. TL leading it right now with top killer, top RT, and top kill streak. Number They're deadly. They're deadly. Stevens with eighteen. Just got a one up. Pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> 
uh, yeah, yeah, director, RT should be ignored, but it's nice if we're going to get um, infantry and we've got tanks, we might as well throw some of the RT in just to spice them up before some of them go home, especially uh, Hungry Bus and Mark. I, I, it's it's good to throw your artillery men some love. I mean, they play a yeah. pretty lonely game back there, stationary, just kind of shot nuts. over and over, yeah, top hit yeah. him every week. <laughs> yeah, so it's good to balance them with some a little love back there. Tank sniping, we saw. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah, uh, yeah, like, uh, <laughs> yeah that too. It, now, yeah, the line the line is known for their tank sniping. That one match that we keep referring back to, <laughs> it took us a good twenty minutes to counter their tank snipe spot on the fly. That's I didn't even see it when I was casting their team. It was like off the map. <laughs> yeah, <that laughs> they're like so deep spot. in their in their spawn where they're sitting. I didn't even see it. I just thought the tank was parked there. Um, now we got the last week's top tanking squads in third place, TL, with the well, tankers Greco, uh, Coletto, and Unique, with a combined. Yeah. They could, they could come in first as well, though. They have come third yeah, and first Yeah, I was going to say, that the, t the depth of TL's tankers, especially Coletto being a uh, a strong personality in the tanking community, really tr attracts some great tankers. Well, that's not the only tanking uh, TL squad. <laughs> in town. There. I called it. Yeah, I called it. <laughs> uh, second place goes to 82 AD. With nice. the tankers. Yeah. Clicker, Jacko, and CJ Addy. Um, and, th and their play, their play from start to finish was really strong. Um, really, really uh, was a surprise to see, a pleasant surprise to see 82nd AD uh, uh, balancing out both infantry, artillery, and then getting a tank, great tanker like this. Yeah, I think in the past balance has been something that's kind of uh, come and gone for them, isn't it? And come again, hopefully. Mm -hmm. First place goes to. TL. There it is. <laughs> With the tanking squad, you can probably guess it. Three weeks in a row. Boss Man, I... Mr. Do, and Eric to City. I don't like <laughs> going just, against them. I don't like going against them. I'll just say that. It's sorry. not fun. <laughs> yeah. Well, they've literally been number one three weeks in a row. So, and what are they? So, are they higher or lower than last week? Do you do channel points? No, what? Like, let's yeah, get no, what? They were on about 141 or something like that. No, last week was 77. The one before was like 113 or something. I, I should yeah, check on the it Discord. Was, it was quite high. Was it, was it against us? Because if it was against us, we could just move on. No, last week last week was 77, so it is lower. Okay. Uh, the week before is 111. Oh, yeah, that's it. Some... When they played against uh, 116. Yeah, it just... Uh, the depth in that that area of their game is just so great. Just yeah. just looking at that stats, you know, there's there's five TL logos there. Five, <laughs> ridiculous. Yeah. Okay, so then... back to what we were saying earlier about uh, in chat, like put your predictions about who's going to be in the final. Then, then, then. yeah, watch these guys. Victims last week top victims we have got in third place. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> Hello. Hello. We are here. STDDB. Uh, all the hammer kills uh, Temri. I think that's how you pronounce it. Okay. 16 times. That's... I need like a warp, warp. Yeah. Warp, warp, warp. That's the one. Yeah. Um, and then obviously in. The first place it's actually yeah. joint first place we have got eg and 82 ad 18 is, i'm guessing uh merrick merrick a killing org yeah uh, yep. and uh podgers uh the rogers sorry kills uh bamboozler 19 times 19. oh it was close Dang. that would have been yeah. just perfect if price is right so <laughs> so that's the stats for um for last week's, you know, fantastic work from, by the looks of it, the only team playing, which was TL. Um, yeah. Oh, <laughs> shots fired, dude. Shots fired. I, I'm just going to sit back and let the North American praise continue to come from across the pond. <laughs> Do not let me stop you. Hoppy's going to come for you in the night. Fuck, I don't. It, I don't. I, I swear, if I think, if I ever see him on the other side of the team, 
I'll just leave the game. <laughs> Change oh, size, mate. No, nah, so, nah, I'll be gone. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'll be I'm gone. Still, I'm, I'm uninstalling Hell at least just from it. seeing him. That's, that's me done. Go to the park and have a picnic instead. Right. Last week done. That is pretty much the uh, main stage finished. Let's have a little look at the summary of all of main stage combined. <clears throat> now here's where it does get slightly a little bit more interesting. Uh, main stage stats combined, you know, from the whole of it, we've played 32 games. 1,122 people uh, had contributed to this. 82,149 kills. 1,614 kills. Wow. <clears throat> that's that's it's quite I, that's um a good decent percentage. That's acceptable. That's <laughs> acceptable. <laughs> that's acceptable. <Yeah. laughs> what is this? <laughs> that's acceptable. It's so, it's so it British you, of you. It is yeah, if you're like playing like I don't know division and you're like um playing against a computer on easy mode where they just keep coming towards you. That's just ridiculous. Oh. So someone in chat needs to quickly like Google like what is that in comparison to like a campaign? Was that like <laughs> the whole like Stalingrad battle oh. the entire time, or like the the Pacific Front, you know, or something? Like eighty two thousand kills or deaths. Eighty two thousand yeah. deaths. Like forty forty thousand right. or something on each side. Yeah. Before I move on, I'm actually going to write that down because I'm going to try and when we do this again for the whole entire tournament, I'm going to try and see that that stat and where where it would combine with like you just said yeah like a real life okay so i just acceptable it. it's crazy tk stars it's really not that's literally totally fine director that's 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 an average it's actually probably less than average obviously wait so 100 1609 divided by 32 gives you an average of what does anyone know 257 is divided by 32 What's that? Quick, quickest way to make a stream end. Start doing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Based on the stats, I'm everybody's been team killed once. That's a great observation. I like it. <laughs> hey, that ain't bad. That's a good way to pull it, actually. <laughs> Some of them just do that twice. Stream says. Um, Get the kill. Let, let's have a look at these main stage top team killers. So. Top team killers. Uh, sorry. <laughs> it's been a long well, that's a spell I want to see. That's a, yeah. It's just going to be artillery. It's just going to be artillery. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lord. Yeah. So let's the top have... killers from each team are. <laughs> there Boom. we go. Nice. That's the line. Boom. Yeah. Slapped them all in. Right. So. Look at streets. Here we got streets number Gordy. one, Thorpey number two, Chucky on the RT number three, Hyperion again a rifleman. Uh, Kaiser, is he in a tank? No, I don't believe so. Because Chucky, Chucky's up there because of artillery, right? Uh, oh, um, yes, it's, artillery, it's actually APK everything is combined. Infantry. So. Uh, Bossman's in a tank. Harold is commander. Uh, no, that's... Sometimes. Uh, yeah. In ninth. Help Bo us out, Boss, boss man is obviously... Kaiser is infantryist. Yeah. Havold. Sorry, of course. There you go. It's the same... Literally the same name. Coming to with skilled players out on the field. Director's... Director's mad. He hates artillery. He's, he's died too many times. He's a legend, yeah. He's, he don't like, he's not a fan of RT. He's literally got PTSD from that. Yes. I mean, the, the, the term shell-shocked. Yeah. The, the fact that it transfers out of a video game. Uh, I, 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 sorry, go, go on. on. Uh, I was just going to say, uh, I see Streets chat. Um, TL playing five games helped. Yes, it does. That is just literally who's killed the most in the whole 
um, main stage. But you have to give oh, yeah. pr- credit to, to the two core guys and Trigger. Core obviously only played three games and they're third. Trigger playing four games and only came fourth. You know, So you have to give it to those two players at least. I, I like to think of this list as the who has been cussed the most. <laughs> yes. A lot of people have said WTF streets, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Yeah, but I, I was gonna say I'm gonna come back to that point where I put here. I think this is interesting because you, you know I, I'm glad the chat brought up. Hey, the, the more games are played, the more quantitative values we get. But there's a couple teams on this list that aren't in there, which I think kind of gets to a little bit of an interesting perspective. That some of these teams have some very high high end shooters like WTH. Mm-hmm. We don't see WTH on here. We don't see Esprit MPA or Esprit OP BHB. We don't see Blacklist. Um, yeah. Some of these other teams like that have yeah. a little bit more even spread across the the, the whole level of their roster. So. Yes, uh, like kills per minute would be in a way like a more yeah. uh, telling statistic because that would avoid. It would that, normalize but, for the amount of time yeah. played and games played. So, but again, you know, we we can uh, adapt as we go through. I think we'll probably try and do this at the end of the. Uh, the seasonal like um, connection says and do like yeah. a real this is like the, the whole, whole season whole thing. Also. and we'll have um, Abusify with us as well um, so he he can lead the charge and if you have any questions feel free to hold those questions and wait for him <laughs> <laughs> just hold just your hold questions it. guys hold it for three more weeks um, let's have a little look at the main stage um, top kill streaks, and I believe that these definitely are infantry only in f- and we've got five spots for here. Fifth place does go to uh, German with a hundred and three. No, 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 there's no. Let me get rid of that. No. Let me get rid of that infantry marker. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, we're back up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. Um, Kybrush from Core, hundred fifteen. Zapod. Director, look away. Is all I'm, all I'm saying about these. 117. Harold. Trigger warning. 205. And <laughs> I, th- I think everyone knows who is the top one. Ch ch ch. Yeah. With that. Chucky. Purple that was obviously RT. That was lane. ridiculous. Disgusting. Uh, was that trigger? Was that the trigger match? Yes. Or? Yeah. Oh. Uh, Yep. Man, just hopefully, uh, stuck a new bridge, just getting <laughs> artillery over and over and over uh, and over and over and over. And over. Um, uh, Perico? Yes, Streets, that is a funny pun that I didn't even realize. <laughs> we deserve <laughs> to know who has the most team kills. Um, there's two pages to this stats. Yeah, it'll be on that one. So just hold fire and it will come. The moment we've all been waiting, and it will be the last bit that we show. Um, but. That is incredible. Top kill streaks, and obviously fantastic. Yeah. Um, let's have a look at top RT killers. We've got um, yeah. Merck. Merck, <laughs> two hundred thirty. Zephod, two sixty-seven. Uh, yeah, I forgot to. What pro, uh, uh, community is Wagner? I forgot to add. I don't remember. No habla inglés. No habla inglés. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, nice. Come okay. uh, <laughs> on, chat. You guys yeah. are an answer for us with this stuff. Quite... Where is Ragnar? While I go through. Um, I'm actually so proud that we attract like the biggest boffins of Hell Let Loose. Like, <laughs> uh, it gives our show credibility that you guys are in chat. <laughs> STDB, thank you very much. Thank you. Ah. Boom. Soul Raver, legend. Broody. He knows too much. Uh, second place goes to Harold. Yeah, let me guess. Chucky. 275. But it's D- Chucky. Director yeah. says in chat when mobile mortar squads come in, it will be much better. Define better. I, I think my bar You're already traumatized by the artillery. No, but imagine that. Oh my god. Uh, an AT guy being able to pull out his mortar. That'd be great. 
It's going to be disgusting. Um, but Chucky with a whopping 321 from the, from his RT. And, uh, see, I, and only three I games. don't think... I don't think we're like sympathizing enough with Chunky and Harold and the whole rest of these guys here. It must be so just like nauseating to hear those clinks over yeah. and over yeah. again in what? artillery, you know, those dog tag clinks. They I mean, just like a ringtone. They hear it, they're, they're they're it in their dreams, dude. Oh, I got it. It's just like, you know, it's like, uh, you know, like if you work somewhere and you have to say like a token greeting to everywhere that comes in, I bet they just like, they can't get that noise out of their hair or <laughs> their mind, you know, just pulling out their hair here. So um, I really sympathize for Chucky on this one. I, I, I don't think we're, you know, this, is say, this could be traumatizing for him. <laughs> yeah, so that's true. To be fair, getting shot as well by like tanks and snipers and people with Thompsons and whatever over and over and over again. Like the reason why these guys can get so many kills in part is because they when they spawn in, even though they've just been shot, they run straight back to the gun and aim it and fire it again and then get shot again. And then spawn in, and then run to the gun, and aim it and fire it again. Like there's a, a massive commitment yeah. to uh, that kind of style of play. So fair play to them. Why is there a Greyhound logo when no one of them is top ten fraggers? Shush, Klong. He's saying there's no one from 116 in the top 10 uh, wait, killers John. from the thing, but there's a Greyhound logo 116. Oh, wait up. German. STDB, that's why. No. APK was part of 116. Amazing. Only when he's playing AT. <clears throat> Chat, real good. Happy yeah. now. <laughs> Are you happy <laughs> now? Backseat back drivers. Yeah, Why do I goodness. miss the turn? We're going to go on the next one. Honestly, you can't get away with anything. If you did a It's a lovely day mistake. for a drive. Jeez. <laughs> if you don't shut up back there, we're not going to have any more seasonal games for the rest of the year. I'm taking yeah. your Pull over. That's it. <laughs> we we actually got all the way through. Who's top engine in? Club. Right. Bad, bad clog. Right, <laughs> top snipers in main stage. We have got Bamboozler. Love the name. Oh. One seven eight. Blee hat from one nine one hundred ninety one. LRTT two hundred nine. Overlord. There's my, there's my boy. Two seventeen. More to Millen. We've seen him numerous times what on these the, stats. Yeah, yeah. Two hundred and sixty-five as well. Yeah. No, oh, that's that's a, that's a, I like that list there. So that black. Nice. So interesting enough. Uh, you know, um, two team or was it two teams that haven't made it anywhere else? Esprit and uh, Blacklist. Uh, yeah, make it up on the sniper. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Blee has slapping out. Just goes to show how deadly they were in their games. And Overlord as well, very very nice. Mortar Million, sick. Right, so Slam that's that's what we've got on Slam. page one, guys. That's page one. Have a little last minute look because we're about to go onto the second page. Let's go. Yeah, chat. It wasn't a long enough show last week, so we thought. Uh, yeah. We'll just do like way more. I, 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 more. You guys didn't tell me about this before I signed up. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're okay staying. <laughs> Hello, Inchon? Hello? Yeah, yeah he's gone. gone. <laughs> um, I'm joking. Okay, so we've got a little bit more main stage stats combined right down at the bottom. Let's have a little look. Um, total match length, average match length, deaths per game, and then the hours combined. 37.6 hours of the amount of games over the 32 games. Uh, which is great. Average length of 70 minutes. 2,617 were the average deaths per match. And then as a collectively, and I believe it was, uh, how many participants? Like 1,100 or something like that? With a whopping 3,684 3, hours combined playing time in seasonal so far. Fantastic. 
Amazing. Yeah, it's like uh, 1,160 or something, wasn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> um, okay, main stage, highest casualty per match. So we have got 116 versus TL in fifth, 82 AD and 116, ESPT, TL, TR, Core, Core and Blacklist. Those were the highest casualties. and these Core are and Blacklist was ridiculous. So Core only played three matches in the main stage and two out of three of them yeah, made arty. the top two. Yeah. It's those arty guys. They're, they're filthy. Ugh. Ridiculous. Look at those. And oh, what was the, hold on, I gotta go back. What was even, was the time on those matches? Did they, did both those go the full 90 minutes? Uh, Core Blacklist went full 90. It was 4-1 on okay, some Yeah, and then, yeah and then, Core Trigger. Or trigger core. was full time as well on Purple Heart Lane with yeah. a 3-2. Yeah. Yeah. Disgusting. So you might feel good if you go 90 minutes against Core, but you're gonna pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. With early hearing loss, yeah. Uh, so being arted over and over and over. Um, so speaking of the highest casualties, let's have a little look at it as per minute. Um, it goes almost the same. TR versus Core, Core Blacklist, ESPT, uh, TL, 116, TL, 82 AD, and um, 116. And that actually is... So yeah, it's just the bottom two flips over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. So you're telling me that three quarters of the team or the entire server died every minute by that. Yeah. <laughs> 98 players in a well, match, assuming for two streamers, 75 deaths per minute. Yeah. Ow. Wow. It's disgusting, isn't it? Now, yeah, let that soak in. All, yeah. all ye, uh, you know, is uh, people director who crazy. are playing in the next coming weeks in the uh, in the finals here. Yeah, not not good, is it? Who's playing core this weekend? We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, we'll jump on it shortly. Um, so now we've got the top melee kills, and it's actually I'm only going to show you one. Uh, believe it or not. I have shit. It's quite a weird number, um, but only two. I feel like there was more, but that's what the stats say. And who is the top? Um, it is Toch and, and Hannibal working together. So is this is this their whole like top? Um, there was for like, the whole tournament like or win five, one game. No, for the for the whole of main stage, which doesn't wow. seem quite. Quite right. Um, I, I feel like there's about 15 people who are on two, though, right? There, there were no. It was just those two. There were a lot of what? ones. There were a lot of ones. So, um, that's crazy. I know I had one against uh, what was it? Uh, the line and trigger was that knife satchel combo. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, at, at, at this in the tournament, man, don't, you don't, don't go for the meme. Just go yeah. for the kills. Yeah, for sure. Um. Yeah, you see an enemy, you shoot him. You're not risking it. Um, I remember we see him. I don't know. Sometimes you got to be <laughs> silent, silent killer. You know, can't give away that position. And they're, if they're right there, I mean, be rude not to. Um, we're actually going to skip the top team killers because I know that you guys were asking for it. So that is going to come last. I'm going to want to build the attention up on that one so we can absolutely rinse them when we come off live. <laughs> um, but we are going to jump straight over to the MG kills let's give some love because they are you know they struggle this is they, be they ridiculous find as well i feel like their spots you know where's a good mg spot it's very difficult for them to actually mount up in a you know when they find a spot and they try to mount it and it doesn't work it's annoying as fuck um <laughs> big shout out we've to, all been there yeah we <laughs> those traces man who who is put Shah them, from put the one every seven bu bullets not every three uh, guys in chat, Shaw. What what um what community was he? Sounds like an STDB. E Thank Is you. S T D B. Wow, both SDBs rocking the MGs, huh? Yeah. Nice. Uh, and they are the numbers. 127, 156, and 160 to C Stevens. Jeez. That's a lot of MG kills. But obviously, they've had the max amount of um, games 
being played on in this main stage. So quite right, but true. it is good uh, to get. Yeah, that if you, many if kills. you count that, what the, over five matches, that's thirty yeah. mg, thirty mg's per kill, would say on average. And we all hate an mg, don't we? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> again, like you know, we kind of touched on it at the start. And we say every week, like the the stats that are here whilst you know they do they are kind of fun and like they can there can be some insight to be gleaned from them like they don't take they don't say the whole picture kind of thing or they don't they don't show the whole picture they don't say the whole story like the um the mg is a tool to provide suppression as yeah, much as it is yeah. to actually kill people so like the the value of a good machine gunner to a team can be way yes. higher than anything that can be quantified by these stats because they're just literally providing effectively what in another game might be like a flash effect really like two innumerable people you know um if, if you want to get up on that like top killers list my advice is like look where the mg shooting go there and run around and <laughs> that's why that's where you're going to get your free knife kills because like half the people standing over there are going to be completely flashed out basically so and you have to give it to the mgs because we all aim for that mg when it's firing oh straight away especially exactly. if you're playing so, observers there's times you where you just mount just like, up you know you fire and then you like headshot straight away it's annoying but um you hit, oh yeah the headshot motherfuckers um <laughs> so stress <stressy. laughs> <It's spicy. laughs> i've tried playing mg once or twice don't like it <laughs> um pistol kills who actually got the most pistol kills I guess it was it, it like six. Uh, I couldn't it find that many. Don't tell me it's STDB again. Fins let loose, nice. And CFR. Awesome. With okay. three oh, four, 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 five. Five four three. And chat uh, who's Lucas? Uh I say that in the nicest way. What community is he from? <laughs> Just who is he? <laughs> who is he? <laughs> who oh, is this yeah. MF -er that <laughs> <laughs> SCBB oh again. God, again. SCBB so we found out is SCBB does not play with their clan tags on. Yes. Yeah. Have you ever watched an not. SCBB match? Uh... Me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm just, I'm just no, they don't you. Don't, like, I don't know who everyone plays for. Can't keep track of how many players did you say? A thousand. No, it's not SCBB. Oh, so raver. No, he. Oh my god. Uh, that's wrong. <laughs> You just got memed. Right, so we've established that playing MG is known connections trigger warning. <laughs> Artillery is director's trigger warning. And it turns out wrong stats is Klongpong's trigger warning. And uh, talking about living in mom's basement. Well, that's not important. <laughs> <laughs> that's my trigger. I was like, you want to know my trigger? It's uh, a, There's a certain team that just drinks beer wrong. They put they mix their uh, Coca-Cola with their beer. That's just what? That's just not right. Okay, well, that's my new trigger warning as well. What the hell? Yep, yep. It's There's not what a... the hell is it? No. no, no. <laughs> there you go. Lucas, where do you belong? <laughs> nice. Lo little lost Lucas. Um, but yeah, three, three pistol well done kills. Well for pistol the pistol kills. kills. Five is impressive. Kurawari is their recon, right? Fins that loose. Um, I feel like he's a tanker. No way. Well, that that makes sense. Like, it would make sense out. if they just pop yeah. out. Yes. That makes sense. He's, yeah, he's learned the thing uh, where you lie down and you climb into the vehicle and then you like. But yeah. but I do like how they're like, oh no no, take commander. Yeah, you got the SMG. No no, I got this with the pistol. Uh, I, I got, got it. this. <laughs> <laughs> you stay there. I got I got my little P38 or M19. Look at Madcap. If you're missing a Lucas, we have one in Lost and Found. <laughs> it's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's. Have Somebody a make look. a poster for that and put it on the uh, Discord. Yeah, I'll be posting these guys uh, after the chat. <laughs> I'm no, I mean like a Lucas's face yeah, on, on yeah, the exactly, side. Exactly. <laughs> have you seen this pistoler? Pistole? <laughs> yeah. Where does he belong? Where? Wanted. Where was he born? Three pistol killings. Where's he made from? <laughs> uh, explosive kills. Who got the most? Oh, sorry, it's not the most. Who died the most from explosive kills? Now, I'm guessing that this is RT It's all grenades. It's yeah, RT no, 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 no. absolute everything. No, no, because already it'll, it'll with the new Archon, it'll show you. Oh, with the new, yeah, it says RT, yeah. 
So this so is gonna be like grenade satchels. I don't know, because um, it's quite high shots, number. Right? From what I believe. Let's have a little look. It's quite uh, high. Off streets. I was gonna say if it, if Groot is up there, then it's artillery. Uh, oh no, so it's, not it's, artillery. Not it's not artillery, it's not artillery. Then. No. So uh streets streets giveth and streets taketh. Yeah. Well you, he he's up in the action, you know. How many of those are team kills, do you reckon, from getting blown up by his own guy's satchel? <laughs> or, or his own guy's grenades, where they're, they're like hiding behind a bush, like, oh my god, throw a grenade! Oh, yeah. And he's just like, I'm in there! Do, 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 do. Yeah. It's like, the like, other guy's like, Fucking I'm in a satchel, and I'm not going to hold on, and then Street just comes over the, the breach yeah. and just mows down 20 people, it's clear! And you're like, by the way, I satchel <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that, like, Street's cleared it, guys. I, I do think this is including Artie. Yeah, Groot died 120 be. times worse score, yeah. And oh. water, it was like 111 to... Um, oh, yeah. It was, wasn't it? With the poor guy. To Chucky. Yeah. So, yeah, 100. All oh, right. Yeah, yeah. No, it was... So, the the top... Groot was the top victim to Chucky at, like, 113 kills, but he died, like, 120-something total. So, this doesn't include the artillery. Okay. Well, that's phenomenal, then. And I'm glad that it's all quite tight as well, from first to third. Very nice. Um, I think it's time. Shall we look at the top team killers? Let's go. Top team killers. Yeah. I need, I need a little bit. Like, you cue the music on. I'm yeah. sorry. I, I need some hype in the chat, you know. So, so sorry. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right. Guys, are you ready to get on your Discord channels and go abuse these guys there are top no, three like just to, for clarity please do not abuse anybody okay uh, we don't condone <laughs> the abuse of anyone doesn't matter if they killed you and they're on your team or not apk right but if you do make sure you screenshot it so we can all see yeah <laughs> it is german okay with 29 oh, that's not too bad acceptable losses you got yeah, in the way you gotta crack a few eggs to make an omelet exactly they just simply got in the way of his firing. In second place. Yeah, I'm sure there were artillery markers down. It is you know uh, Cairo and Botanic. A lot can happen in 25 seconds of the shells <laughs> in the air. A lot yeah. can happen. Oh dear. But a lot of kills were coming from Satchelin as well. It's ridiculous. Yes, a lot of Satchel team kills, to be fair. Um, Cairo and Botanic with 30. Okay. And that's botanic over five games, so that's like you know six per game. That, that, that might be a little high. But, you know. <laughs> and then, who's got forty-one? Okay. okay, so this this is not so good. This <laughs> forty-one goes to Ragnar, <laughs> and even oh. Klong Pong has already said one Ragnar, and I believe oh. that was STDB Ragnar. Yeah, he just doesn't, he just doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> now what, what was what was what he was on for highest kills right so let's go actually go to what's his yeah. ratio what was what was his last one uh on the because if i'm ragnar i'm looking at the ratio i'm like look if i get 10 enemy for one friendly that's, that's what ratio. i was saying at the start yeah. like that percentage is not too bad like two and a half percent of like the kills ah. yeah. you can, can we go it. back can we go back to the last page where, where was yeah. he at on oh, i love that transition Okay, so okay, two hundred and sixty-nine already kill to how many team kills? To forty-one. Uh, <laughs> say it. Say like it's not great. Oh. It's not great. Well, that's like a six to one ratio. It's you know. If that's not bad actually on RT. Bearing in mind you've got a, what is it a twenty-second delay. I mean, oh, he I takes know. out an enemy squad. He takes yeah, out one of his yeah. own. He takes out an enemy squad. He takes <laughs> out one of his own. You know. I mean, yeah. che Cheesy Christ has also said, uh, "Ragnar saved my OP sometimes." So sometimes, oh, sometimes, and sometimes he killed us all on the OP. <laughs> yeah, when we spawn in. So, so there's all of the stats, guys, that we've had for the main stage, and I hope you've enjoyed looking at those because they are some epic. Well done, um, everyone. Um, stats and figures there. Um, obviously I will be posting that on the Discord channel after the stream so you guys can, can see it <laughs> in the future and say hello to Ragnar for me <laughs> um, but let's have a little look let's let's finish that is there stats for headshots I don't have one for headshots um, but again 
we might have Archon, one at I the don't end. think Archon captures. Yeah, that would be Listen. difficult. Yeah. Um, but let's kill. have a look. Because kill. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, we, we, need, we need the commander commander uh, support score stats, you know. Mm. Get, some, yeah. get some commander love. Yeah, those are the real important stats. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder why you would say that. I, I was going to say, if, if, I, if I could go to the developers and say, change of like put us a few other things in archon i love to see structures built and structures destroyed mm. yeah, i want to yeah. i want to yeah. see who destroys the most structures um, yeah that's like basically the most important <laughs> stat in the game that's like the... note note then you can see actually who what, who built who notes no, 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 we don't no, need don't take notes. notes i was no. gonna say don't like it well, I mean, no. it's who, who takes them Maybe down. if nodes come back into the game, it's like a relevant... Uh, yeah, you build nodes entity. in the first two minutes, you move on. <clears throat> yeah, you forget about them. They're so annoying now. Let's have a look at what's coming up. Like taxes, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. We are back. So, fantastic stats. Now we have got the the big... The big one, yeah. So any rage quitter stats? No, but Groot still goes to the top, not rage quitter of the tournament. See, look so. at Pong in there in chat. Sixteen buildings destroyed yesterday. That's that's structures, you know. That's Pathetic. Um, so this weekend we've got or C thirty two the playoffs. You know, we've got Core taking on one one six uh, Greyhounds. We've got WTH Phoenix. We've got ESPT o, uh, B. Uh, OP BHB against the line. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, I, 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 you know what? Yes, I'm going to do it. I'm going to blame Jane because I'm used to saying ESPT BHB OP and I was reading that and it says OP in the middle. So she threw me off. I'm going to blame her. Sorry. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, and then we got Trigger against Blacklist. So looking at the first game and getting a chat in here as well, um, who are we thinking that's going to go through out of core and 116 does anyone have have we finished the ban phase yet i think it might have already been done uh, i know why we were doing this no. uh, we just finished up our ban with the line okay so we'll jump on yeah. that um, one so, 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 um, go ahead core, core 116 yeah. is down to the final two go ahead which two maps uh, uh, yeah. hill 400 and san mariglis are the two remaining yeah so 100. I have faced, I have faced Core on Hill 400. I have faced S one uh, sixteenth on SME. Who's got the final ban? That's one sixteenth. Expect I would say expect one sixteenth the ban, Hill 400, especially as it's Axis. That point does favor the yeah. Allies as far as the beginning. Yeah. Core's infantry is just stout. I think SM SME. Allies, I don't think I don't think the Greyhounds are going to really say like either one of these, but I expect to see Greyhounds choose SME allies. That would be my bet. And with that said, oh man, it's an uphill battle for him on this one. I think it might go all the way. Core like to go straight, and you know they go straight onto the fourth point when they cap the third. They like to go straight, quite offensive. But I think one one six might actually hold them back slightly, and I think we might might go. At least an hour, maybe a little bit longer. So I'm not yeah, too so sure I, which time. I just pulled up our handy dandy little website here that Socks uh, premiered mm -hmm. on the show last week. Yeah. And one uh, sixteenth has had six fifteen matches on SME with a sixty six percent win rate. Okay. Feeling maybe a little confident on it. Feeling a little Oof. confidence. Well, we're quite undecisive in uh, the chat. A lot of people are saying core. Cool. A lot of people are backfiring with the 116. Um, Cheese also says uh, 116 likes the forest maps. Hergen is their uh, home map for a long time. Yeah, but Her like Hergen, and, Hergen, and, is... yeah, Hergen and Hill 400 play very differently. Yeah. I mean, yes, they're forest, but you can bring armor into Hergen. You can have those long sight lanes. And, and um, just just an airhead, boom. You have to. Yeah, be I mean careful. we've seen one one six though with their tanks inside as axis with their tanks inside the point at Hill four hundred defending incredibly well. So like mm. they, I don't know. We'll we'll wait and see on this one as to like what they pick. But um, yeah, I think it, it's going to be tough for one one six. Let's yeah. face it. I mean look at look at those stats that we just saw a minute ago for core like. Well, 
what <laughs> they're gonna yeah. whoever they play against like it's probably going to be the the new highest def game or like the second or the third highest death nah, game purple, of, or the purple fourth. heart lane still is going to take that purple heart lane still going to take it that's going to be the top but that's what i'm saying it's they they had second as well and True. i think maybe third so it's like there or you guys were third against the line but like it's gonna just be disgusting like whatever happens on either of these maps i feel like it so uh, and what's gonna what's gonna be interesting on both this one and wth is that now for two weeks, three weeks, Core and WTH has essentially had some time off to yep. refresh. They're going to be going, you know, they've, 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 they've still been scrimmaging. We've seen them come across on scrimmages. There's not mm-hmm. that, that uh, go, uh, those skills uh, uh, dull, if you will. But the Greyhounds have been through some <clears throat> really, tough really games. tough matches. And then going into Phoenix, Phoenix had to go all the way through the placement rounds, yeah. then go through five out. rounds on the main stage. Um, wondering if fatigue is going to start coming on some of these ones. Hopefully now. <laughs> well, yeah, but equally, like, uh, I don't know. I think a lot of those teams, like you say, they've all been playing games too. They've all been doing the friendlies and the scrimmages and all that stuff. So it's been a quite a high level of play probably for everyone i think i know obviously these guys have been playing to like stay in the tournament so that obviously is going to take like more of a toll but let's be honest like this this whole thing is getting to a stage now where and and i I mean you said before um that it's like minute by minute plays and it's Mm -hmm. if there are if there's just one person who like makes that mistake in the moment or whatever because they're not with it that day and you yeah. know anything can happen so one squad leader decides to push forward instead of fall back and build a garrison that one minute decision you yep. know cost them for that and it's yeah, it all adds up but um i think on this one core one sixteenth. Uh, i think smart money's on core on this one yeah and uh, it's a real tough choice in the ban phase for the maps here because core yeah. just smashed sam are, are they doing the ban phase now currently are they still live it uh, it's happening well, now, but I don't think okay. they're. Um, what we can do is we can jump right back second. to We'll that. move on and yeah. we'll check at the end. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I know that one thing. We'll learn about this sure. one. Okay. This is going to be a repeat of the um, German Cup that just uh, finalized when we were uh, when the season was just starting. So a little bit of a rematch. Two teams very familiar with each other. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Next, we have got WTH taking on Phoenix. Have they done the band phase yet? Yes, they yes, have. I have. Uh, what's the map? Oh, Go sorry. ahead. No, no, oh, no, I haven't got it open. That's that's why. Pop. Oh, fuck off. Yeah. So, <laughs> no. So what the hell for, so what the, hell for the win on Purple Heart Lane? Uh, probably would be my prediction. I mean, it's their like favorite map, seemingly. Um, but oh. it. Uh, it depends. Like Phoenix could pull something out of the bag. I haven't really seen them on Purple Heart Lane um, so too much. Inter- so interesting enough, I actually think Purple Heart Lane favors Axis on the point layouts. Plus, there might be a cheeky spot to long range snipe artillery mm-hmm. on the German side. Uh, definitely expect WTH to know that. If Phoenix doesn't know that, they're gonna go out searching for yeah. it right now. Yeah, so I think there's gonna one, be counter positions yeah, this, to that. This could, I was going to say, this map pick, uh, I actually like it. WTH, mm-hmm. let's see, let's go back to the handy dandy website once again. Uh, as I say, this is kind of an off meta map for WTH. Uh, they've only played it once, according to the ELO uh, calculations. That was a few weeks back, I believe. One of their uh, first, game, their first game in here. main stage. Uh, they played Purple Heart Lane against EG on yeah. March 29th. Yes. Yes, five new. So, yep. Yeah. So obviously oh. they've probably played it before. The map came out in update oh, no, no. five. Was yeah. uh, Purple Heart Lane, if I remember correctly? Mm-hmm. Um, so they'll have experience with it, but nothing recent. I, I was gonna say, I think if you're Phoenix on this one, you actually pretty feel pretty confident that you got WTH on an off-meta map. Um, you got them to. You got a favorable side, but they're the champions. They're defending champions. I, I, I think I love this map too. maybe Phoenix have got an, WTH winning the tournament I'm just saying but to be a little bit more <laughs> you know d- down to earth yeah. um, 
I, I was going to say, I need to just turn both of <laughs> you guys off for the next <laughs> section and just. WTA I'm the only weird. neutral party in this room. Um, I think if if the points are not either the, the top or bottom, left or right, wherever it is, I think if it's one of them, maybe PHX have got something to to kind of battle on. Obviously, it really depends on um, the points, uh, you know, yeah. second and third and fourth and fifth. Um, but if that point is that centre point, and after, is it Madeline Bridge? I don't think it's quite Madeline Bridge. Madeline um, Bridge is very, very difficult, yeah, for, yes. the, for the allies to attack. If, if it's um, that it's one, very defensible it's for the Germans, but they wouldn't want to get pushed back to their, um, you know, of the of the middle points. Um, the allies probably have the advantage of Grout and probably a flak as well. Uh, uh, actually, um, I was going to say Grout. I mean, yeah, the circle's up there, but there's that huge choke point right up on the north side of Grout that yeah. it doesn't take much artillery to shut down that choke point. Mm -hmm. And then you just got to worry about countering a truck coming across. I was like, Grout, yeah, Grout, yeah. even though that circle is up on the north, the terrain favors Germans. It does. They and do have the high ground, the Germans, for sure, um, yeah. as well. Um, but it's interesting. But again, that. they've kind of got predictable routes. Mm -hmm. um, there is, I believe, there is a, a route that you can take with a truck through that canal. That is correct. Um, and that can definitely help them as well, if they know that route, uh, which... I mean, they, they're going to. Uh, <laughs> I can tell you that for sure. Yeah. Um, so you might be right there. Uh, can regardless, I think we need to get, figure out a way, Archon, to track how many times anybody drowned. <laughs> that is a stat on Purple Heart Lane. How many lost to environment? Oh, I know yeah. an Archon doesn't track it, but it would just be funny if we could just lease an admin cam, keep like a running tally. Whoever's going to stream this one, just needs to keep a running tally. Uh, drownings observed. Three, ding, four, yeah. ding. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Just, just uh, have a camera. People just want to get on the stats thing, though. That's too easy to uh, cheese. <laughs> yeah. They'll just be, uh, the game will just dissolve into like people just jumping off the bridge over and over. <laughs> the last two minutes, whatever yeah. side is online, just jumps They're into just the like, canal. Hey, group yeah. photo. Fucking lost. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> have, have the admin cam go into the into the rivers and just count yeah. one. Two, three, four. Oh, there's a pile there. <laughs> Twin. Um, so, so chat. I don't think we've uh, didn't see much on it. Um, who's going to win that? Is it WTH or is it Phoenix? Um, from the guys in the chat, I think we're pretty set that WTH are going to win, right? Yeah. I I think so, but you know, PHX stand a chance. They're not. They're a good team, and you know. Yeah, can I'm really sorry. Side on the Phoenix. map. And, Yeah, I mean, Phoenix is coming into this one as the seventh seed, two versus the seventh seed. That's, that's a tough one to try to predict an upset, but the ingredients are there. The ingredients yeah. are there. Next one. Uh, next the one. The rematch. Yes. yes. The Derby PT. Part 2. Bro, uh, Intro, what are they doing to you with this, uh, with, the, with the NA guys? Is this a, is this a rigged? <laughs> is this, a, they know, I'm see not here to an say NA the final? ain't real. You know, or anything. Uh, you know, it's, is this five um, G right now? I yeah, it, it's it, it. The tournament matchmaking system has yielded some of the best uh, matches I think we've seen out of any so of these tournaments. Be, I am uh, one mixed feelings about this match. One, I'd love to see two teams, two North American teams, make it into the semifinals. With that said. This is the match that's been handed to me. This is the match that I will play. And I love my brothers, but we will fight them. Dude, I put it as my, <laughs> my top uh, pick. Like each week, uh, chat, we have to like pick uh, who we'd like to stream the most. And then we get handed out, like depending on the availability and stuff. But like this is my top pick again. Because the last, the last game was just so crazy. And round two of this derby, like you guys are going to have to have a round three, maybe, like depending uh, on what happens next week. I mean, uh, I know we've got guys from the line here in the chat. Uh, so well, if it goes our, one all, like, oh my God. But our uh, uh, last seasonal, our last match was against the line uh, for the for fifth place. Yeah, in like the fifth, sixth determination, sorry. And uh, I mean, that was a nail brighter right down there. But I, I will say this any sport, whether it be checkers to HL to professional football, 
I'm going to say football, knowing that it's American football. <laughs> but anyway, uh, any fun. of the sports, it, it is when you see an opponent in such twice in such a short period of time, it is that much harder to beat them because I guarantee you the line is going to dissect every minute of what happened on the last match and then try to adapt. And for us, we don't know which way they're going to adapt to. So you know, yeah. we're going to make adjustments, but it's a lot harder for us to try to adjust to their adjustments at the beginning. Well, absolutely. I mean, I said, I think, before that game when I was talking um, to Gadarian, saying about how <clears throat> I think ESPT, OPBHV have like a very adaptive style and it's kind of like a reactive, responsive style. And like literally two games, one after the other, like what do you respond to? Mm-hmm like you haven't got any kind of like archive of like seeing them play again or or whatever and i mean obviously the same stands for the line as well like you know I, um at, at the end of the game um you know they were saying that it's like uh they thought um they need to get more people back in defense uh, you said um just earlier like they're not a team that plays like massively um defensively normally mm-hmm. Like Coltrane was saying, like, oh, uh, we maybe need to like dedicate more people on defense, but are they actually going to do that? Like, when even in the last two minutes of that or four minutes of that last game, they were having people like camping the middle point, waiting for a flip, and like uh, it's going to be such a crazy game. Yeah, it, really the line though. is uh, the line is somebody that will take care, will uh, take advantage of any <clears throat> exploit or opportunity they give you. We play more of a control map control type of game like we we want we want to be that boa constrictor that just squeezes you out and then just you know they're just like okay we lost that point and then we go into the next one um it's the way our structure is set up but um the core of the, the west yeah i was gonna say but uh, this one uh obviously i'm biased um i like our chances i like where our tankers have come we've had now had back-to-back multiple uh, matches where we've gotten the three tigers the on three a three tiger yeah, uh, dude, like man, three tiger thing. roll out, you know. Type deal. <laughs> um, you know, we're actually we just finished our map, uh, pick ban uh, while we we're chatting here. It was actually my yeah. uh, comp leader talking. Um, we're gonna be playing them on Hurricane. We feel our infantry is really uh, one of our best advantages yeah. um, of our depth of skill in our infantry. We're gonna be taking them to Hurricane. <clears throat> we're still gonna be able to get some armor out. I don't know if we're gonna be seeing three seventy sixes. I'm gonna try, mm-hmm. um, but we'll see how those roll out through the forest. Yeah, for sure. Going to be more difficult, maybe, with the RT snipes. But F your we'll... RT sniping. We're choosing a forest map. Um, That's what I thought. Who's who? So many trees, but who knows? Oh, like, God, man. The, the amount of research that they put into that. Line, like... Oh, my God. It was... I mean, we were talking about, like, our artillery at that match was just like, guys, we can't get out the guns. My, 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 our, you know, RD defense was up. We're like, we don't know where this is coming from. It's just from the left side of the map. And we're, like, sending recon <clears throat> tanks out there, like, actually to go recon. Like, you yeah. need to find what's ever shooting at our RD. Like, that was that was an interesting play. They credit to them for the research they put into that one. Yeah, for sure. Um, what? But, yeah, that's that's going to be a good one, hopefully. Um, and Hergen, yeah, it's an interesting mm-hmm choice you guys won the coin flip and you banned first um so it's kind of uh i guess like you pushing pushing the choices here um like you say like picking a forest map picking hurricane you like it for the infantry um picking allies you happy with allies uh that's a yeah i mean I, i think we prefer german infantry uh over american infantry the mg42 the stg uh preferable on that one uh, however, you know, we actually wound up playing, um, having one of our best games against core on this mm-hmm. match. Um, we've had a lot of success against one sixteenth. We got some experience on it and, uh, you know, we feel pretty comfortable on the map mm-hmm. in general. So. Excellent. Um, so, I mean, while we're like talking about, uh, ESPT and the line and stuff like, <clears throat> I think having you here on the stream is like a great opportunity to talk a little bit more as well about ESPT, OPPHB. Um, obviously, it's kind of a, a new alliance, I guess, with BHB for this um, tournament. But um, for the people that maybe don't know, like, can you give us a brief kind of potted history of ESPT and, and OP and that alliance and BHB and where they come into it? Yeah, we're 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 an uh, we're an alliance of misfit toys, if you will. 
Um, uh, for both of us, uh, OPMB uh, Esprit, uh, Esprit de Corps, what Floyd stands for there, um, you know, OP broke away from NPA, we broke away from HLTC. So I've actually been a part of every seasonal uh, that's happened. Two third place finishes with HLTC along with a lot of our core competitive players. Um, we want to do a little bit more focus on competitive and so we formed this, uh, however, we couldn't fill 50. So we reached out to our OP brother, which at the time was MPA. That's how we formed uh, for the last seasonal and uh, was able to get up to fifth place. Um, really kind of like more low key focus on competitive. Um, mm-hmm. You know, the NA seeds coming up a lot. You have the line has, who's always been a staple, but the line I think actually broke away from easy company. If I remember their lineage, I think it was I'm trying to remember how, their lineage all came from, but you know, from out from the old comes these new teams with a lot more focus, a lot more hunger. You have Garrison only fans. You I was have saying, Gary Oli fans yeah, as well. Yeah, up, yeah, we we played with them and against them. Uh, high quality guys over there. Um, a very strong personalities. A lot of passion in that community. Um, but then I was going to say to talk more about the NA scene. I think you're going to start. You know, next seasonal, you're going to start to see maybe some other teams that you haven't seen so far. Uh, 13th Legion is starting to be an up and coming competitive scene. So um, we're really happy to um, defend and have the opportunity to defend uh, the top North American team title. Um, but I'm more happy to see the quality of gameplay that is being yeah. inspired in the entire North, North American community. So Yeah, for sure. Great. I mean, you guys have played against what the hell um, just earlier in the, the tournament. Uh, mm-hmm. um, it, I guess it didn't go to plan, and th- probably the end result wasn't really reflective of like what a, a close game it was like overall. Um, but I think you know you just touched on it there, saying that like you want to kind of play for that top North American spot. But I definitely uh, there's definitely that hunger there. It's obvious in the SPT, OPT, BHB to go for the top spot overall, oh. right? Um, oh yeah, yeah. No, like, it's it's. Time. Yeah, no, we the uh, love love the level of competition. Uh, it gives us a, a strong goal. Um, we've been for minutes on top of both Core and WTH. <laughs> you know, in yeah. various scrimmages. One time we were up for one against uh, Core. We came back to lose that one, two, three. Uh, WTH, we're um, you know we've we've gotten them uh, ahead on the cap lead. Uh, the last seasonal on Carrington, we actually had a cap lead on, on there. This first round of the season didn't go our way. Who knows what the, uh, comes up to us. But I will say, if you look at how many times that we've played core in WTH in our scrimmages, um, we they I would say we've played core f- six times and WTH five times. And the next person we've played is like three. So yeah. um, we're, we're taking our lessons uh, sometimes the painful way, yeah. but we're, we're hungry. We're hungry. There's definitely Yeah, for sure. There. And I guess that's something that's reflected, like obviously we touched earlier on the Hilo system and the website and stuff. Like that's going to be reflected in your standings too, like ESPT, uh, OPBHB all get kind of awarded points slightly separately sometimes. And then mm-hmm. added to that, you've got a very high level of opponent. Um, so maybe the scores there aren't even necessarily reflective of how good your team teams actually are when they play together um and even then you guys are like really in the top three last time i checked right um so it's like i I definitely um very very uh excited to see the like you guys play um and especially yeah like it's a shame in a way like uh that the the system has despite it being amazing and coming up with some great games has come out with this kind of such a quick rematch against the line to to maybe you know see one of these um uh, so we only get one north american team like through into the the finals maybe but um i definitely think like you guys are in for a massive shot at that um well i'll I'll put this prediction out there regardless of who wins this first round because we will be playing full through full placement so we can rank one through eighth um so that we can do seeding for the next tournament things of that nature Whoever loses this one between us and the line, they will be the fifth place team. Yeah, okay. I, I, I think I think that's a. Um, now the next match coming up could be the spoiler to that prediction. It will be. It will be. Um, <laughs> but I, but I, I think between both of these ones, um, it's it's going to be a great match. I'm definitely looking forward to it. Yeah, and for streets, sure. stay away from my guys. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, there's a brown envelope coming tomorrow, full of cash. <laughs> 
and maybe some some anthrax. Speaking whoa, of whoa, 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 <laughs> just in case, anthrax really? Cash doesn't persuade you, will take uh, you out. Speaking anthrax, the player is inside the envelope and jumps out. He's from court, right? I did not say that. Um, um, trigger black. I did not say, yeah, okay, it's not, it's not you. So, like, if that does happen, right, it's not in Sean, all right. <laughs> You okay? This is surprise. I'm actually genuinely suspicious now. <laughs> <laughs> the way you've reacted to it, like, watch out, streets, don't gonna, open I'm the mail. To, like, tell, I'm gonna have to tell like Shaka and Taka and Vahal and all them, don't open any envelopes. It's all. Oh, dear. <laughs> like, this is for real now. Like, uh, hell has been let loose. Um, <laughs> right, so, I mean, you touched on it as well, like a minute ago, saying about how you guys like to play as like the kind of boa constrictor style, like. Um, you know, like surrounding uh, the other teams, kind of slow and steady, um, you know, nice, like really wide flanks and, and playing that kind of um, the ebb and flow game, right? Oh, uh, he said it, not me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, what else would you say, like, separates you from, from the other teams in the tournament and kind of, like, gives you that edge? Um, I'd, I'd say for us, it's really the mount that we focus on our middle 50% is what I kind of I'll call it. So, uh, and then kind of like the stats, like, yeah, we have some really excellent shooters, um, but the core, no pun intended with core, of our team is really our, you know, top 10 through top 25 shooters. Those guys right there that are just pulling down those 1.1 kill death ratios, those 0.6 mm -hmm. KPMs, mm -hmm. they're not lighting up the scoreboard in comparison to everything else, but they're just guys that make the right decisions, have patience, and they will win a majority of their 1v1s. Especially, I'm going to highlight here, our defense. Two of our best shooters on our team love playing defense. They oh, get so much pride over saying, send me your best assault players. I'm going to shut them down. I'm going to get a 1.2 kill death ratio over your assault guys. And, yeah. uh, you know, that, that, that type of stuff, uh, that type of unselfish play and the, really that, that focus on not just the all-stars, but the depth. Um, and our tankers, are, I'll give it up to our tankers too. Um, the, they put out a challenge to the infantry to work with them, and they say, we will we'll pay you back in spades. And they have done it. And to be able to get, I mean, we said, could you guys pair up two tanks? Now, two games in a row, we've gotten three tanks online nice. uh, multiple times during the match. That's been... Uh, that's been and one of those set. against what the hell as well. Yeah. yeah. And the other but one I... against the line, who have the top tier tankers, like or the top two tank squads probably of like the, the tournament so far in terms of kills. Yep. Yep. So uh, I, I think we're real, we real, feel really healthy, not to mention our artillery. Um, our commander's okay. You know, he's a four -name guy. <laughs> Uh, but uh, no, I feel I feel that we got a really well-rounded team uh, that uh, you know, and I, I'm going to be honest. The inspiration a lot for our strategy and our team has been WTH. Um, they've really mm -hmm. led the way in a lot of the meta. I think we've changed a little bit, but um, it kind of has one artist says, you know, this this band inspired this band. Yeah. WTH has inspired a lot of what we've implemented here, um, along with picking up tidbits from Core lessons from them trigger we've picked up lessons from trigger so it's um they ever got you always got to keep adapting so yeah so trigger scares as me. well that's nice Tr trigger, trigger so scares good. me trigger scares me i get a lie yeah so uh, enough about me. everyone i think yeah, yeah, yeah. oh I'm gonna say, let me say one thing i'd be remiss of the last but least the alliance I, a lot of people a lot of streamers should say a spree uh, granted the spree brings the majority of the guys in but op and bhb op normally about four or five guys that they bring so to that's the, outpost uh, yeah is the outpost, correct. Yeah. And then bail hay boys uh, to show that they're not overly serious. But the guys that those guys do bring oh. in are integral parts of our success. And um, you know, there, there might be a time where we both, just like we said, Phoenix and 116th competed on their together. Mm. Now look at them, they're on their own. There might become a time where OP and BHB competes independently. And, um, you know, I was going to say we're both going to be stronger for it. But right now, man, oh, it's, it's really a good, good uh, relationship. Yeah, for sure. I mean, um, when I spoke to Coltrane uh, as well from the line, you know, he kind of intimated about uh, having a similar, <clears throat> excuse me, a similar setup like um, how there is in Germany, where there's like a German league 
you know, uh, having a North American uh, league and like having that strength, like a 50 v 50, like full, full tournament league kind of thing. And like, mm. um, it'd be great to see some of those teams kind of pull away. Would you say that OP and BHB, like, do they do some specific tasks like within like, for example, last season, we saw that alliance between 82 AD and DC. DC, like, brought a lot of, like, top tier, just, like, attacking shooters kind of thing. Like, do they have a speciality in particular, or? Uh, kicking ass and chewing bubblegum uh, is their specialty. <laughs> chewing gum is uh, the ice. No, I mean, they, they, they form a killer um, infantry squad. Uh, we run a seven-man squad structure. I don't know if you're familiar with that term. Um, so, like, rolling people through? Uh, two squad leaders, five infantry. So mm -hmm. the five infantry are not dedicated to one squad leader. They just jump. They're dedicated to, they dedicated to two squad leaders. So they so feel that's the best OP. Yeah, but you know, there's there's some other nuances <laughs> in there that you yeah, know, sure, yeah. I think you should proprietary. elaborate on that. Yeah, Go I was right. gonna say. Um, but uh, that's something that we picked up from Core. I mean, if you look at playbacks of cores and side by sides, in minutes they will flip their entire force from the left side to the north side or something of that nature and they yeah. leverage uh their they leverage death which is kind of funny to say dying is one of the most valuable things in hell let loose because you can go somewhere else on the other side of the map it's teleportation yeah yeah it is and it's a game and anybody says this is a mill sim like no. most military simulators like assume that the enemy stays dead there's not a respawn but, uh, <laughs> yes. but anyway uh, when the one life lead comes guys then we'll uh, yeah. we'll call it that they bring a solid seven-man squad structure that rivals our main assault squad. Many times they will allow, allow shoot them depending on the match and the opponent and the location they're at. Mm -hmm. uh, bring in some artillery. They help us out with some recon, some great recon players, and then we'll get a spattering uh, somewhere else around on our defense or things of that nature. So, um, no, it's 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 really a tripod that the entire that we entire we, that we stand on. But Two legs and one massive. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. No, but we got we got a challenge ahead of us this week against the line, and I'm definitely looking forward to it. Nice, um, you definitely do. So. And j just redirecting it to gonna... uh, director. Sorry, um, director. Yeah, yeah. I just asked the question. Um, do you think the final could be played on on a new or night map if they're released by the final? And direct, uh, excessive has said that they might add it to. Sorry, cheese. Might they might add it to the wheel? I think they probably will. Um, I'm going to throw it out there. I think they should play it on Remagen night. Yeah. Um, yeah, no one's, no no one's played that one. No one knows the map. <laughs> if it's live, yeah, I, I, jump on that I one. I see... I see us. Uh, this is this is the format the the the, the seasonal started with. Which is, yeah. uh, I see this is the one we're finishing out. Yeah. Um, obviously, if the game changes, <clears throat> we'll have to adapt um, to whatever comes there. But I don't see... Uh, I don't see a night map or ever again. I mean, hell, no. we haven't gotten a single Kursk. I don't even in think it'll be. No. Uh, I don't think it'll be live grads, anyway. I mean, even if they put it in the selection, it's not going to get voted for, I think. And uh, they're probably not, like, no one's going to, like, meme it on their their last ever ban phase. Like, um, it would make it fair, and, though. And on top of that, well, no is it fair, it. though? Because at the end of the day, like, yeah, but the when that update comes out like it could just be buggy or like i mean think yeah. about what stylograph was like when that first came out like try and play the your final of like the biggest game of the whole tournament nah. on, on uh, that uh, map on day one anyway. like, we're gonna, we're gonna, if vegas was fighting on h on hl um i think a good bet would be that the least. final <laughs> yeah the final is going to be played on sme or oh, S much. yeah it's sme sad. utah those those two are probably the most viewed as the most oh, balanced maps or if it's WTH, uh, they're going to go Purple Heart Lane again. Purple Heart Lane, yeah. Oh, dude, the core might take them on Purple Heart Lane too, <laughs> just after seeing those artillery stats. But um, no, I, I, I don't see a, a, a red herring being tossed in, like a, no. a bridge map or anything on the final. So Let, let's let's jump. But on I might be wrong. The yeah, if Heidi goes out in the uh, in the round here against uh, PHX, who knows? He might just hate the world after that. And... Yeah, <laughs> he might have just accidentally on purpose d deleted Discord. Season. <laughs> um, let's have a quick look at uh, Trigger and Blacklist. Uh, oh, guys in one. chat, who do you think will win? I personally, and I'll show you the, the layout of the whole tournament for the last three weeks, I personally think Blacklist will go all the way to the final. Mm. And I think they're going to beat Trigger, man. Core. Uh, yeah. I was going to say, this is a 4 5 seed matchup. This is any tournament. It could be. It could be a tournament of underwater basket weaving. 
I want to see the four or five matchup. <laughs> yeah, in an the closest game. Tournament. Yeah, I think this one's going to be great. Um, I think uh, Trigger is. I, I think Trigger is the more well balanced team on this one uh, against Backlist. I've played against both of these teams. Um, I've played uh, Trigger. We have never five would Trigger. Mm -hmm. It's always been uh, three two victories, and our last victory came. We started capping at two minutes and six seconds left oh. to <laughs> to win that one. There was uh, wow. some loud, ex uh, explicit, you know, expletives or uh, curse words <laughs> said in Discord in those final couple minutes. Uh, Blacklist also saw them on Utah comparison. Um, I think Blacklist uh, definitely has some a lot of strong points. Uh, I would give it up to their infantry play. I give it up to uh, some of their recon, but I feel um, head to head, I give the edge to trigger on the armor, on the infantry, on the commander, yeah. <laughs> Richard going out. Like he's just going to be the one man record yeah. on his back. I, 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 there's just too many things I favor trigger on this one. Hurt and allies for trigger. Uh, mm -hmm. Did so. they go hurt and allies? Yeah. yeah. All, all of these games oh you're gonna to have to have like four screens four monitors because you're gonna want to watch them all um they're all fantastic but trigger yeah. uh, wow. uh Guderian saying trigger the boogeyman they go yeah. to the finals <sighs> i don't know I, i'm surprised c -Night didn't go further in the last seasonal and i feel like watching trigger uh, this time around like well, i mean i'm not surprised based, based on their yeah. uh performance but like i'm surprised that they couldn't field a better performance i suppose is what i should say well, yeah c-note had a forfeit a match last seasonal which uh because the other team couldn't work uh, a time difference so that was one reason why c -Nut got the lower ranking um on that one which is um a little interesting yeah but i i think i think blacklist I mean, you can't sleep on them. Uh, if I go no, back, no. who did who did all the backlist beat on this one to get here? Uh, they lost against Core, but they beat um, just this last week. Who did they? Uh... So they they beat. I'm gonna go. I gotta go, They beat the Poles. They beat 82nd AD. Yeah. They beat EG, um, and they lost to. Oh, sorry, they beat. Uh, I'm getting lost here. Uh, beat Black. Beat 82nd. Lost to core. Yeah. They beat, beat STDB to get through. And yeah, so if we look at from this perspective, none of the teams that Blacklist have beaten are currently in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. If you mm. look at Trigger, we'll check them out here real quick. Trigger beat the line right off the bat. Yep. Uh, lost to core, beat Trirex, and uh, beat 82nd AD. So Trigger has a little bit of a higher so difficulty of schedule. Favorites. Yeah, I was gonna say that's what I think why they got the four seed. Um, so it's tough, it's gonna yeah. be tough. Yeah. But sure. both of these teams have played core, and neither got five nilled. And the game between core and blacklist is still well. Mm -hmm. The game between core and trigger is the highest killing game. Yeah, yeah. don't you don't core. you love how dominating core is when that's the praise? Like, and yeah. the, both these teams played core, and neither have got a five zero. <laughs> like, oh well, yeah, yeah. I think I think um, we really want sure. Greyhounds to knock out core. And then it's going to get interesting. I think if if Core and WTH go out and they lose to Greyhounds and Phoenix, I think it's going to be a very, very I mean, interesting final. That would be... If they both went out, that would be <laughs> insane. Uh, yes. Yeah, I don't know. Like People well, would season. be like burning cars on the street and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> um, a riot of one in the streets yeah. of Paris. I don't in, know. In well, I'd, I'd at least know like who my fellow uh, Hell Let Loose fans were. Like The one <laughs> guy just going crazy out there. What we can do is we can just have a little quick look at how the, the map of the rest of the tournament is going to play out. Um, and let's yeah, have a little look sure. at this. All so, I was just going to say at the end there, though, was that Core and Trigger, top killing game. Blacklist and Core, second top killing game. Blacklist versus Trigger is going to be... If it wasn't even just like the the tightest game of this uh, bracket, weekend yeah. coming up, yeah. this bracket, it's going to be just a disgusting game. Yeah. Like, the Trigger guys just... Hyperion and all of them, like, they just mow people down and they just like spawn right next to you and then kill like five people like well and i'll say this too relentlessly the each region you know more or less there's a, there's there's a meta of how hl play 
But mm -hmm. when we start to look at different teams, the Chinese region or the Pacific, you know, Asian Pacific region plays HL differently Different. than yeah. the yeah. Europeans do. And if Blacklist, I, I always say, I'd have to go back through and see if Blacklist has actually played uh, Trigger before. If they're not ready for the way that Trigger plays HL, it's, they, they might be in for a surprise. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking um, them up right now. See if I see. Uh, I was going to say, we're looking it up for the history, but. Once again, thank you, Sox. I think it's going to be a lovely, lovely last three weeks. We've had, obviously, we've had th three weeks that had um, no work, no no games. Two weeks because of the, the the war, and then one week for the Mother's Day. Um, so, those three weeks that we haven't had games is going to make up for lost time in these last three weeks. It's going to be a corker of an end of a beautiful, great tournament that we've had so far. And I yeah. see so a beautiful... Look, oh, God. I was going to say, I looked it up here. Credit to Trigger, or sorry, credit to Blacklist. Blacklist and Trigger have met once October 3rd of last year. It was a 3-2 victory on St. Marie Dumont in favor of Blacklist. Interesting. Interesting. So, place your bets now. The down phase is over. You could go to the Discord yeah. and uh, <laughs> place your bets. That's where we, you need to do the gamble thing with your channel, boys. <laughs> uh, Albrecht's so good with those. The quacks, what do you call them? The schnitzel I don't, know, I don't know how you do all that stuff. Okay. Goff next. Yes. Who's the final going to be between? Uh, well, so the... To... to highlight like who the potentials are can we should we go to that um screen that you just showed with okay. the um give me two teams who you think are going to be in the finals and chat as well put your two teams yeah. i so, only want two so teams the, we're looking so on the one side it's going to be 116 versus core the winner of that game and trigger blacklist they face each other yep and then it's going to be uh esprit de core bohey boys and the outpost versus the line and what the hell versus Team Phoenix, the winner of those two are going to face each other. So I think Core beats 116. I think pff, really hard to call again, but Trigger beats um, Blacklist. So then Core v Trigger again, I think Core are going to win it, depending on the map, maybe. Then uh, ESPT versus The Line, again, tough game, but I think ESPT win it. What the hell versus Team Phoenix? Probably what the hell win it. Then for me, well, I, my money last time was on ESPT beating what the hell, and I'm going to stick with it because I've had the practice now as well, just recently. So I was not happy with you. I think it could be core core versus ESPT BHB OP. Okay, uh, intro. What's your host? What's I mean, I, I was gonna say I, I can't, I can't not like that pick, um, but I also have to respect the talent of WTH. Um, I think you're, I think you're right on your upper bracket there. I think we see Core and Trigger come, uh, come out now. Trigger did beat Core um, a while back ago, but I think it was on a Stalingrad map. So for whatever that's worth, right? Scrimmage Stalingrad, whatever. Uh, but it did happen. Uh, they all, well, core. they played a friendly against what the hell not like long ago that was very tight as well. Yeah, mm. so I think we're going to think Cord's going to come out, reach a semifinal from the upper bracket. Um, I'm, my guys might be giving me shit in Discord here for it. I think we got to <laughs> respect WTH. Um, man, I, 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 my heart goes with ESPT, but if I'm fair and balanced, WTH's experience. Um, might come into play, and I think we might see another rematch of last season on Core and, uh, Core and WTH. But if there is an upset, um, I'm looking forward to it being us. Dude, I want to see yeah. ESPT versus upset. Trigger so bad as the final. God, that, would that would be so good. That'd be mayhem. I think Core will beat 116, Blacklist to beat Trigger, Blacklist to beat Core for the upper. ESPT BHP OP to beat TL, WTH to beat Phoenix, WTH to beat ESPT BHP OP. That means Blacklist WTH final. Interesting. And the famous Heidi Airhead follow win. 
What a WTH. <laughs> just wow, this account. guy is freaking drinking the he's, he's even calling his shot. He's going yeah. out like, like Babe Ruth out in left field. No, he's calling it airhead. I've already what given Heidi 20 quid. Mark. I've already given <laughs> Heidi 20 quid. If he gets to the final, he has to throw an airhead to win. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's um, it. It's got to be worth it to him. So, right. I heard so, he's very skint. Oh, yeah, I can't afford it anymore now. I even gave up my dinner money. Um, so that's it. That's that's this weekend and the rest of the tournament going on. Obviously, we will go through all of the uh, um, the recapping for this weekend, and that will be obviously on your stream next week, uh, Garth Nix. But let's yes. just finish up on this awesome long stream, and it's been fantastic with some top clips. I know there's some good ones from oh, this weekend. I hope they're good. I hope good. They, I've got two two uh, game two two clips per game. So to start off, it was the beginning, um, and let's have a little look. <laughs> is this Bible school in the beginning? House Kangsa says no air. This is Meta boys. He pushes up. There's a sis going in here. Oh. <laughs> I'm one with the wall and the wall is with me. That's not the end. Wait till the end because I feel like someone exchanges as well. I haven't seen this one. Okay. You so know, like, let's, let's be honest here. If everybody was admin camming everything we did, I've probably done this about a dozen times. It's right so absolutely right. brilliant. Yeah. It's like their sound but, is perfectly in sync. But you can see, just on the, on the, the one's web. bandaging, the other guy's running, then like they're both reloading at the same time. They both like fire simultaneously. <clears throat> but if you have a little look, uh, if I pull it about here, you can see that there's another player there that's taken his spot. You see him die here. If I can just, uh, if I pull it about here. You can see that uh, Sid, okay. S Sid's dies, but then another TL player comes and takes his spot. And still yeah, doesn't even see you, you kill one, two more take their spot. Yeah, look, just there like... he is. Yeah, look and at that. And still doesn't see him. In fact, uh, that was a um, wild guy over the top. Yeah, brilliant. Nice. Let's have a look. Well, you know, you know he's there. Like, hey, the outpost is hot. Something's <laughs> triggering the outpost. Yeah, I What's can't find on? him. <laughs> He's out. He's out in the field. Monk, monk. I believe I can fly. So, so <laughs> who streams up, by the way? I believe I can touch the sky. Um, so that's that's Wild Bill. That's Wild Bill jamming on his um, stream. And I I'm, think about it every night and day. He's fucking brilliant. Let me <laughs> let me play that one again. Just just look at him. Spread my wings and fly. Come on, chat. Fly away. <laughs> <laughs> I believe I can soar. I think he died on that one. And <laughs> click that. <laughs> just, just behind Inchon's um, um, chair there, we've got Wild Bill. And can we just appreciate? I've never ever seen that a is streamer. freaky. I didn't even notice that. He's just like, yeah. hold on, look, I can pick, hold on. Hold on I can Let me introduce you. Trust Wild Bill to do the most original. Uh, <laughs> I feel, like, I feel like we should the, get close up. Up the nostril, Kaya. Do we have to? <laughs> we have oh, a close already, up. Are you can see his bogeys already. I don't like this. I'm going to no? go over here. <laughs> Hold up. Are you ready? I feel like I can. There you go. Welcome. Uh, he's, to he's, Wild Bill. he's shaving a little bit more. He, he had to grow down a little bit for COVID. <laughs> I think that's the best webcam ever. It's brilliant. <laughs> There's still the, the 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 with the creamy bills, man. That oh. that's a that's just an HL. Oh. Yeah, I bet there's some people still in uh, Twitch chat with the creamy bill emoji. Yeah, that's just you can't unsee it. No, nope, it's there. It's yeah. there for good now. Yeah. Okay, can I can I come back to my seat yeah, now? Yeah, please. I, do not want, please. I do not want to be a wild bill booker. <laughs> oh. Right, oh. let's have a look at the next game we have got. Team Phoenix is Joe. Yes, 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 yes. I had in mind that they were trying the to graphics. change it, but it's just nice. 
I posted this I one because I think it's actually Phoenix a really I did, good I did cast intro the, <laughs> the two teams Phoenix and how versus, uh, teams the Spaniards match last the middle point but in a competitive game. Time. It's a really nice video. Ah, there we go. Uh, correct me if Initial I'm wrong. big wave uh, there. STD Supply trucks and transport this? trucks. And, oh, oh, sorry. Phoenix got this off the back. Right? Artillery is coming down in the normal areas. Uh, that they... STDB got it first. We're supposed to drive. Okay. We see on both oh, but sides. But Phoenix, yeah. like, they contested it kind of thing. Artillery like, coming really... down, not hitting anything yeah, yet. Tanks also yeah, trying to show their, trucks. Their, uh... Truck oh, making a very nice little push this here. Position, yeah, what, right there where he's highlighting that southern approach, you don't see too many most people prioritize that southern. And then how quickly the they cleared it out is really, really nicely able... done. And this, this is uh, another reason why I wanted to show this video. I've got two other game uh, clips of this particular game, but just this one got a third because that is competitive right there. You know, you're fighting for the middle. It, you've just got the, the barrier go down. And that's what you go into. It is beautiful to see. And I'm glad that someone actually managed to finally capture something like that. Fantastic work from Daz Albert. Yeah. Well, and, yeah. and look, at, look, at the, look at the highlight here. Not playing. I mean, this is two mature teams. Explain why they got this far. Playing for key terrain. And cr that isn't necessarily the strong point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, They're in I that mean, building you, up the road there. And mm -hmm. like you say, in the road road down the south as well. Yeah. And, and just a little adjustments here. I mean, I don't mean to go all freaking no, no, analyze no. on this. But... But, okay, look at look, both teams recognizing that the north side of the point with the three-story and the orangers up there is critical. But look at the slight adjustment between the two teams. Uh, that's mm. uh, Orange on this one is STDB uh, uh, as orange. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Look at STDB taking a little bit further. They both deploy about the same. Was that five guys down south? Yep. Uh, Phoenix goes high with their guys, or like a mid-range south. And STB goes further south. And just, I mean, that little adjustment... I just I love that little mm -hmm. micro engagements there. Fantastic. Let's have a look at the two games. Uh, sorry, two of the clips that we actually have of this game. But the Garni steht halt mit Menu müsste die Garni sehen. Menu hat es nicht. Oh, this is great. Yeah. Oh, da geht keiner gucken. Garni abgebaut. Leave it with switch case. Switch case, yeah. But look at that. Und es sind jetzt aber mehr Leute am Außenposten gespawnt, wie gerade an der Garni. Das ist great. Danke nochmal alle fürs also, Follow-up. Ich habe das erste Mal gesehen. Ja, er ist einfach nur alles aus. Ja, warum nicht? Und ich denke, er killt like einen mehr Spieler und dann stirbt er. Ja. Das war ein guter kleiner Sneak-Attack da. Gary, fünf Kills, like, ja. Ich nehme das jeden Tag. Das ist der Typ von Spieler, da du über das Minute sprichst. Du gehst zurück zu diesem kritischen Minute. Das ist ein Minute da. Right there, you talk about that minute. You go back to those mm -hmm. critical minute. That that's a minute right there. And yeah, then if yeah. somebody else doesn't react to that play within a minute, you're losing that point. And yeah. if you look at the uh, the screen, you can see that the contested. second point contested. Yeah, just because yeah. of that. <laughs> Changes and that's the, the point of the commander. You're like, hey, all right, guys, go ahead, spot back. Oh shit, I just lost seven yeah. people. Yeah. They must have everything back there. Everything back. back. <laughs> you know, it's himself. just one guy running around the freaking point, last of the Mohican styles, just chopping oh. your team in half. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So Lee's dead clip. on the ground there, as you can see, yeah. Uh, great play. Next clip we have. There we go, up in the sky. There we go, finally. Great movie. And For me, this is Abbott's laugh at the end. Again. They don't have enough people on Western Approach to make any... I mean, I guess they are blocking... <laughs> <laughs> that was disgusting. Proper uh, uh, accurate uh, here. Let's have a watch that the again. Direct RT here. Yeah. MX tank down, and we see Western Approach, and, and again, it's going to get blocked again. Really. They don't have enough people on Western Approach to make any... I mean, I guess they are blocking... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I laugh. have my guys, I don't have my guys. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> We're sporting, we're going to come back. No, you're not. Get out. Yeah. Get out. Here's your, here's your ten more seconds. <clears throat> and then... that's why Director hates artillery. <laughs> no comment on that one. Director absolutely hates him. Let's have a look at the last one, and I believe that the last one is your one, Inchon. Alright. Hold. Yeah, this uh, 82nd AD, man, they just, they had some great line of sights uh, on, the, the church. Uh, <clears throat> on the He's uh, towards chapel. Us. Really, really one really hit. There. Nice. Second hit, tank is down. 
Tank is down, tank is down. There's one. Okay. Yes, north side of the chapel. We need a marker on it. Roger that. Roger that. Push it, push it, push it. Marker? Yep. Go, 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 go. We have a stationary uh, steward. They are putting pressure on the infantry. We have communication here between the uh, commander and the driver. Keep the left side, keep the left side. Look at that, look at that point, look at it. Cap, contested, cap the other way, contested, yeah. cap the other way. Medium, right in front of us. And hold. Move slowly towards the right, move slowly towards the right. On my pink. Ooh, 75, 75, 75. One, one, zero. Put it on my pink. One hit. Medium is down. Yeah. Put it there. What's that? The third tank so far? Yeah, a little off in the distance there. Left. He's gonna move. No, he's still there. He's still there. I think this is the steward. No. He bounces Mark. a few Miss. shots on this one. On my pink. Buddy. Fuck. He gets what he was A little bit higher. He is down. Beautiful. There it is. That is good. What was that? Four tanks? And look, 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 look how close. Man, look how close that capsule yeah. is going. That yeah. is good. And I think that after that, after those tanks, it went back into 82's. Uh, yep. Eight, sort of cap. Eight, AT, I think, went on for about it was another minute or so, but they wound up capping it first and uh, held on to it for about 30 minutes. Jeez. Let's have a look at the last clip that we've got for tonight. Two squads over here on the north side, and we got one I'm spawn wave of so four coming over here on the left. Yeah. I don't think that's going to Make that three, be make that Clean. two. That's, that's how right. I roll mine. That's now three. That's what I tell myself. Offman trying to go against Adam. Not connecting. There's I two do down. Like streaming as a medic. Look at the squad at like 116 coming in hot. Injured. 18 rocket up. doesn't connect. Ooh, Adam getting Fenman on the corner there. This, this battle over the Cal north looking, side. Finding that there goes Kale. There goes Kale. There he oh is. Boy. Oh, he's going to go hop. Fox is going to be the one that def can uh, def defeat him. Kale gets one down. Can he get this other one? Oh. No. Oh, no, he gets oh, it. Oh, my Garrison. Clutch by Fox. <laughs> Woo! That was close. Oh, look at that! Look at that coming in on the. Yeah, but heads up play there by that individual to recognize that everyone around you is dead, and yeah. your priority is not kills, but to allow the next spawn wave to come in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, great, great heads up Can't play. Covered it really well there. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely fantastic. Um, Brilliant stuff. And there we have it. There we have it. That is everything that we have for you. Um, That was. What do we say? That was a lot. Thanks for joining fun. us. <laughs> oh man, time yeah. flies by when you're having fun. Yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, a, lo a, lo a bit of a shorter show this week. Uh, <laughs> so um, hope hope you can bear with us uh, next time. We'll make it nice and long for you uh, in the future. But um, thank you so much for watching. As always, thank you to Inchon, our amazing guest. Um, like shared some really really great insights. Like been in the game for so long and and such a you know important part of not just like the mm. the competitive scene but also as you just saw then guys like big part of the the kind of streaming and casting yeah. um side of things um for a long long time as well so um and you know you mentioned your podcast as well before and like uh yeah just done some really great stuff in terms of like the content for the game and things like that so um and for na as well in general yeah. so New um, player guide. Check out that. Check that out. We'll yeah. Pass those to your newer players. That was good. That was a good uh, thing to give yeah. back to the community out there. Absolutely. So, um, thank you so much for joining us. Um, and so thank you guys. Uh, what were you saying? So uh, yeah, I was just saying. Uh, what we try to do is, I know that you guys like to stay with us for like five six hours, um, 
but because there's obviously little games we can go a little bit more in depth with them and show you a little bit more when we have those eight games or the four games that we have like next weekend it will be a little bit more brief but we <laughs> want to try and keep as much information because we love spending we just go time with you. more and more with the stats every week for some, yeah like we just uh, where we cut down on games we're just like ramping more into the stats but um look thank you as always touching on the stats for um uh, to abusify to um jane to um the organizers of the seasonal of course as always to all the other streamers who you just saw there um like the clips and obviously there's mm. more streamers casters you know we've had so so many games um and so many people turning up for those uh, to cast them um, which has been really fantastic but also uh, of course all the players uh, number one the players um for showing up and being there every time for the game so yeah. um we love to watch this like i myself you know i don't play um in competitive at all so it's great to just like have you guys have that dedication to show up and, and basically mm -hmm. entertain me <laughs> like uh i know that's not why you're doing it but like uh it just a thank you from that side of it like it's really cool to see so um, and so much like passion in the game and, and yeah. dedication for people which is really amazing um thank you known connection too for streaming today no worries always a pleasure i uh, think you might have also had some some subs maybe or, yes or at least uh, one, I saw one of in, so. you as always and streets and thank you very much for the subs soul raver thank you very much for the uh uh raid and all the followers um don't just follow me and don't just support um one go and follow all the seasonal uh casters you know show them a love and also put the notifications on so you can see when they're live what games they're about to uh, host or co-host or even just talk about in general go support them go show them some love uh go show some some love into the hell let loose uh, se seasonal discord if you wanted to you know contribute to the uh, seasonal organizers oh uh, yeah the go new ahead Patreon. for it mm -hmm. um but a huge uh uh thank you to jane and abusifer for sort of those stats up because i know you guys enjoyed it i know it took me forever to sort it out so <laughs> thank you very much uh for you guys but also thank you very much to the legend himself inch on for joining us very tonight for our next oh, no, stream I'm glad you guys are doing this. It's been a pleasure here. Um, we'll keep playing. You guys keep watching. I'll keep drinking. <laughs> <laughs> yes, good that. luck. Good luck this weekend coming up. Who are we going to raid, guys? While I put some stuff in yes. the chat, I'm going to just drop in the um, the links here to like the Discord and um, to the Patreon and also to the um, Elo website that we were using earlier. Uh, as Garth I was gonna say, we, we could we could go uh, a little op op member love uh, Lieutenant Colonel yeah. Soundboard member of op. Yeah. He's had a, he has had a raid already. Oh, but... Okay, is that uh, it is apparently it's Scott's birthday. Oh, from who? Will. Yeah. Oh, hey, Will. I mean, that's a, big Chris, that's a new birthday gift. Did you say Will sixty seven? Will sixty seven says he says happy birthday. All oh, right, let's go some love. <laughs> is it like Heidi's birthday? Or is it his real birthday? Heidi's birthday is like once, once it, every, every day. Every day, yeah, once a day. Yeah. <laughs> every time you see him, you have to say it. I wake up and obviously I'm on the uh, WTH. Just send him a little I go message. to the general chat and it says, oh, happy birthday, Heidi. Every fucking day. <laughs> every day. <laughs> we, we can go give somebody love that uh, it's not expecting should we, Yeah, should we find somebody who's uh, only got like, uh, they're sort of starting out on their Hell Let Loose? Two viewers, Will McBreezy. It's got a little picture of his kid there. That's cute. It's got a family, okay. it's got a family to support. Uh, sorry, Will the pro McBreezy. cage, just because Trirex isn't there anymore. So it's house gangster. Pity is the best reason for uh, raiding. Okay, I heard we are going to go raid Will McBreezy. Uh, so let's jump over. Let's go show him some love, just like you do to everyone else. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for the for staying tuned and and getting involved. Have a lovely week and I will see you and so will these guys on the weekend for the playoffs round one for some intense battle. Thank you very much and good night. Go right. USA. Good night, guys. USA. <laughs> UK. <laughs> Raid is up and let's get going. See you guys. We out.
Sorry if I stepped on your guys' toes there a few times. Ah, that